Those babies are going to put me in the broke house. Dang, I was about to start. I had a message. What's your message? Don't have kids. That's no, a message. No, my message is not for the kids. This, okay. is, this message is for the person that said, it been time to take them twists out your head. I still have these twists in my head because I got a life and shit to do. Stop worrying about what the fuck. I'm doing my bad. You can believe that in the beginning with my hair or my body because I got a lot of kids. I got a lot of stuff to do. And if you're not going to wash it for free, leave me alone. Who said that? Somebody in the comments said it's about time to take them out. They also said that um, you can't be fat and old. I think that, that that's okay. You you can do both. You can do whatever you want to do. I said just stick to being entertained. Was it a male or female? I don't know, but I said just stick to being entertained. If we all right over nah, here. Nah, I need to know. We all right. Because if it's a male, I'm shooting. I don't. If it's a female, I'm shooting. I'm shooting. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. What, 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 what video? I don't know, baby, but just know. Now nah, you know. Just know. Was this recent? That I don't care how big you are, how little you are. I, I do, do care how little you are. I got. I told you that. I care about both. You got a, you got a certain size that I don't want you to get to. I don't want you to get too tiny. Um, but I don't care about how old you are, baby. I knew you was old when I got to you. You know. Nah, what video was it? It doesn't matter. But was this recent? But that's why are you doing nah, this? No, keep talking. No, we not no. Keep talking. No, nah, okay. keep talking. I just want to see. I'm no. They decided to shoot at both of us at the same time. Don't that's say wild. It. You see, you looking at the wrong things. So um, Oh, it's on Facebook. No, it's not. So regardless, I'm just saying these things are not gonna come out until I'm ready to take them out. Now I've been ready to take them out, but I've also had a lot of shit to do. And I don't really care. It don't, I'm I'm becoming better. Like, I can talk. What are you doing? I'm sorry, go ahead. I have become a person that I can talk shit about myself and stuff that I don't like, but I really don't care that much what other people say. It's so weird. Like, I will beat myself down to the ground. Do you hear me? But when somebody else says something, it's like, I don't, that, it doesn't make me want to hurry up and change it, if that means anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I read it, and I was like, Oh, that's fucked up. But I don't, like, feel like I need to rush and take them out. I just need to rush and take them out because my head itch. That's all. But, like, that was it. See, nah, it won't know. What? It won't know super message. It wasn't, like, I didn't, it wasn't well thought out. It wasn't planned well, out. Well, 9 times 10, they don't even listen to the podcast. So you got to. Well, they do. They do? Yeah. I'm not telling you where anything is. No, because... just, just let me know. Where... No, it doesn't matter. Just let me know the platform. It doesn't matter. You'll find it. You'll find it. But I'm just saying, it wasn't a well thought out response, but it's just like, I just want y'all to know, this is entertainment. I don't care about, I don't, I'm not affected by what people say about my looks anymore. No, you kind of care. No, 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 no. I'm like, this is just a general message, but it doesn't make me insecure. It doesn't make me feel like I need to rush and change things because somebody says something about my appearance. It's just kind of like, just sticks to me in. You know what's ma messed up? Just chill. Because you've been talking about taking your hair out and uh, you're going to do it and it's going to look like. I did it because. Yeah. No, I did it because I know how long they've been in here. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> like, where, where, where were they talking about it at? Baby, I'm not telling you. Please. You're not good at that. And I'm on shrooms. It's even better. You are? Yeah, man. I'm glad because you've been blah all day. I ain't been blah. You've been blah the last couple of days, actually, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, it won't know well without that message. I'm just letting y'all know. I see when people talk about people's appearances and stuff online. So matter of fact, I and, and this isn't a topic that we have, I don't think. But um, Bobby, the girl Bobby that be interviewing people and she's like real deadpan. Mm -hmm. So she posted something and was just basically telling people. It was very smart what she said. She was like, I wish I had the clip. Basically saying people don't care about their digital footprint because she was like, y'all are just in here all day just bagging on me because they think I got cheek fillers and stuff. But she gained 20 pounds because she had been breastfeeding for a while. And she stopped and whatever. You know, it's a thing that happens. But she was like, it's more like y'all. She was like, do you, people that like have stuff to lose and are doing things don't post stuff like that online because it affects their, you know what I mean? It affects their 
It could affect their job or just things that they're doing because, you know, people always go back and look. Um, when they do background checks, they look at everything. And they were like, people that are, like, really doing things don't put stuff like that. So it's the people that are, like, sitting home and they like, yo, I ain't got nothing to do. Let me just find something to talk shit about. And was they, it the last video? Don't worry about what video it was. I don't know why you think that all of a sudden I'm going to slip and I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> it actually gave me way too many clues. But um, I think it's just it's just interesting when people like sit back and they're like, man, this let me tell you what's wrong with you. This, 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 this. And it's like, I don't. Mm. That's wild. When man. I say words like that, it's because I'm on a podcast and I, you know, sometimes I got to talk about it. But outside of that, I don't care. I don't care enough. I don't I don't. Yeah. I care. Um, where where was it at? No. Just tell me where it was at. No, we should start the podcast. Right? Now, now we can start it after you tell me where it was at. I guess we're not starting then because I'm not telling you. You have to find on yourself, but we got something to do. We got a podcast. To oh, do. that's some fucked up shit. I think it is. You got a lot of people. I want to. I want to shout them out, man. Five minutes in, and we've done so much cursing. We have to chill. I I want to shout them out. Well, I wanted to do something at the top of the podcast. And you just kind of messed up the vibe. We'll start with you where you were. You could have let me know. I can. Where I can. You were I can. I can bring us back up to speed. The children are twins. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, are on the spectrum. We know that, baby. That don't have nothing. Baby, you, you got new <laughs> listeners every week. I'm. I'm not talking about. Don't. Don't start your shit. I'm just because saying because you know what you do when I say something and I'm like, baby, I know or whatever. You get upset because I. I say I know. Don't start with me. Not today. I don't even know where that even... Because you do that all the time. If I'm like, if I'm like, re like, oh, you know this, or you, but da, 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 da. baby, we know they know it. It's new people. You get attitude. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, stop doing that. Anyway, I was saying, don't start with they on the spectrum because they don't have nothing to do with what you were saying. But continue well, that attitude. You don't know that. So, the kids, the twins... Um, have been on a spending spree. And they don't really know it. No, they know it. They don't know that you they're You can't on a tell me they don't know it. I think they just want to play games. I think they see games and they like, I want to play that. Play and they games, pick, watch movies. They click the pick. It says install. And they see install and they like, yeah, I know install puts it in the phone. And then it's like, you got to pay $7.99. It's like, $9.99. I, really, I don't really care about that. Whatever it takes for me to play this game, I have to play Paw Patrol right now. Well, they're going to have to find us a place to live because they're taking up all the money for rent on goddamn games and movies. Well, I mean, like father, like sons. I mean, what do you want me to do? What you mean? I don't... I don't buy games at all. Do you buy games? You I literally, buy a game. Yeah. Who cares? I just want to know... Why they can't play games? Because them shit's cost. Oh, so Madden 25 doesn't cost? It doesn't cost any money. It's free. It come with the console. You were really stuck on this Madden 25 shit. I am. My God. I am. Oh, my gosh. How much was it? I don't know. Was it more than $9.99? No, oh. hell no. It wasn't more? I would never pay more than $9.99. Oh, you saw... Yeah. I thought you said $99.99. Wow. wow, that was crazy. You thought, thought I was talking about $100? 90, yeah, man. Why would I say that? I don't know. I don't know what your... Uh, How much was it? It was It was enough. It was a regular game cost. I don't really know that. I don't buy games. How much was it? It wasn't a lot. I don't even buy Candy Crush Lives. So how much was it? Yeah, but you did. And when you did, you were worse than the kids. Yeah, but I learned from my You mistakes. didn't learn shit. You just haven't been playing Candy Crush all No, I just ain't been connected to Wi-Fi when I play it. <laughs> <laughs> because we be on the plane, and that's the only time now I'm like, I should play Candy Crush. Exactly. When you was playing it before. Out, the lies run out, and then you can't buy no more. Kristen, you would, Kristen would put the boys to bed and sit down on the couch and play Candy Crush for hours. And I wouldn't know she was playing Candy Crush until I would get a, uh, Man. was it a notification saying that uh, your purchase has been received? Sometimes I would try to make sure your phone wasn't with you because I didn't want you to get, or I would be sitting on the other side of the room and I'd hear a ding. And I'd be like, oh shit, what's that? And then it would be, hey. Terrible. <laughs> 5 dollars Terrible, man. Sorry. But you know what? Regardless of that, I love you. You're not I supposed to love me. I admire you. You're not supposed to love me? I mean, listen, some of the things you do could make a person rethink love, but, you know, we're not here for that. We're not. I didn't even know we were there. We're not here for that, man. 
the mushrooms have just kicked in. By I, the way. Oh my god! <laughs> they, is this, <laughs> they just kicked you know what in. the problem is with you doing them almost every episode is they're gonna accept and they're gonna expect you to do it every episode. Yeah, but I was already planning on doing it because so. you've been blah. Yeah, a little you bit. You felt it too. I've been a little blah. Yeah, a little blah. I felt it. But anyway, um, I wanted to play a game with you. I Made don't up. know if I am at the level of gameplay that you are at right what now. What you mean? No, no, it's a great game. Um, I just came up with it myself. You just, and that is a sign <laughs> that I don't want to play this game. You just, in these couple of minutes that we've been talking, you want you came yeah, up with the game? Well, no, 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 not not now. But I came up with it not too long ago. Um, it's see. called the compliments game. <sighs> okay. And what you do in the compliments game is you give the person as many compliments as you can without stopping. So You don't want to start the show first? No. No, no, no. Stop the show. I'll go, then you go. I'll go, then you go. And we just go back and forth until the person stops or can't come up with another compliment. We talking about for today. Like, okay. No, it's fine. It, it, it's fine. It, it could be, it could be you, a whole bunch you, of different compliments. I would love for you to go first. You go first. All right, you ready? We starting the game now. Okay. Buckle up. You have beautiful eyes. You have beautiful eyes. No, you can't use the same one as I use. That's messed up. You, you messed up the game. Your eyes ugly? You're not allowed to have beautiful eyes, too? All right, fine. You can be whatever you want okay, to be. Okay. Don't use the same one that I use All and right. vice versa. All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. At least you got to let it go a couple of times first. Okay. All right, you ready? All right. And y'all can play this with your partners or friends, whatever the case may be. I don't think they want to play either. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, you have beautiful eyes. Uh, your lashes look better than the lashes I buy at Walgreens. <laughs> uh, you have a beautiful smile. You've got amazing eyebrows. You are hilarious. You are also funny. I don't get hilarious. <laughs> you said it had to be different from the one you okay, gave me. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Your style is cool. I like your watch. Oh, that's the wrong. That's not the one I like. But I like the <laughs> other one. <laughs> I like that's that. That's not me. That's a, that's a, that's but a... it's about you, right? You picked it out. So it's about your style. I love your ass. I love your calves. Mm. You have pretty feet. You also used to have pretty feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, 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 you're super smart, whether you know it or not. Do you, do we actually believe these when we say them? Yeah, it has to be okay, real compliments. Cool, 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 cool. I just I learned that. I didn't know you thought that. Um, you are the most determined person I know. You are a great mother. You are a great daddy. It's different because I didn't say father. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you. <laughs> have incredible cheekbones. You have an amazing voice. <laughs> okay. Um, I already said so much, but right. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Um, I know something off the top. I think me. it's so cool that you do hair so great, even though you ain't did your hair in a long time. See, I started with the compliment. You can eat pussy like nobody's business. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> you are a pussy pioneer. So can you. Um, no. Baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, damn it. Um, okay. Uh, you, ma'am, you now. Me. Are. It's getting harder, huh? Damn, I can do a lot of things. You 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 are so crafty. Like the way you put things together, amazing. You're an amazing writer. Okay. <laughs> you just come back so fast. Yeah, I cuz I know things about you that I love. <laughs> That's sad. Um no it's not. Uh the way you look at the world is uh 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 sometimes Sometimes I'm envious at the way you look at the world because you have an amazing outlook at things. 
You have incredible skin. You are so creative. I think you said that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I, I, I did I not creative. say the word creative. You did say that. Mm-mm. You got a college degree, and I think that's great that you stuck to it and got one. I don't have one. You got a high school degree. All right. <laughs> Diploma. My bad. Uh-huh. My bad. Your turn. That was yours? That was mine. Yeah. Man, them, them thighs, I love your thighs. They strong, sturdy thighs. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, come on. Come on with it. Oh, your writing skills are magnificent. So if I if I know it's a lie, it's can not I call a lie. You out on that, it's not a lie. I, you ride really well in the car when you drive. No, <laughs> because I don't think you believe that yourself. For no, real. you ride really well. You just don't do it often, but when you do it, it's great. Oh, cool, 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 cool. I learned that too. Man, there are so many things I could say, but say something. Unless you lose. You are a very passionate person. Oh, God. And you know that's true. Oh, you're a great cook. God damn it. Mm Mm-hmm. You take all your pills every morning. (laughs) That's not a compliment. (laughs) Yes, it is. That is is not a compliment. Because everybody don't do that. That's not a compliment. Maybe everybody don't do that. Nope, that's not a compliment. You take them... All at one time. That is a fact. That's a talent. No, that's not. That's not a compliment. All right. You remember to take your pills every morning. No, that's not a compliment. You have a good memory. It'll be a good one. You have a great memory. But I gave that to you, so pick something else. You You can cut some grass. (laughs) (laughs) You can cut some grass. Man, it took you a minute, but you can cut some grass. That grass, that grass. Actually, I can. You be cutting the hell out of that right, grass you're now. You're right. You're right. You. Um, okay. Uh, you. Oh, damn! I had one. Mm-hmm. I had one, man. Um, mm-hmm. You. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can act. God damn it! You can act. You. You You quit? You lost? You can sing. All right. <sighs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you look. We should have time limits for this game. You uh Yeah. It should be rapid fire. Yeah, it is rap it's supposed to be rapid fire. No, you taking up time right now explaining to me that it should be rapid fire. <laughs> Okay, um, you you catch on to things really quickly. I don't even know. And what I that think means. that's so dope. Think like when I taught that. you uh phase 10, you caught on to that shit. I beat quick. the shit out of you, you too. No, you sure didn't did. beat I the beat shit the out of me. Shit out of you. you. I feel like you lost. I feel like you lost. I know there should be a time limit because I, I know I got like another one in there. I, feel I like know you I got a you love me. No, that's not no, that's not a compliment. You don't love me? That's not a compliment. You though. You lost. Just say you lost. I feel like I've said so much. <laughs> and I can't go out. I I can't. You know what should happen? We should if we play this game, we should have categories. That's like, a lot. What about appearance do you like? What about personality do you like? No, you got to think about all, all of that is, is is okay. You lost still. I just want you to know you lost. I think I know. I think I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that, that it feels so bad. It feels like I don't love you. No, it's not about love. You can play this with your friends. You can play this with your enemy. It's probably really I'm fun to play with, with an enemy. I'm not playing with an enemy. I can't. Play that with means your I baby gotta daddy. To, I got to... Who? You. You talking about you? No, you. Play with you? No, you can play it with your other baby. No. Nah, I don't think he plays games. I mean, he does. He plays games. He (laughs) He definitely plays games. Oh, man. I didn't never know I was going to be this person. Where you going? How you just leave in the middle of stuff? (laughs) He definitely plays games. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's okay. That was uh, fun. No, it wasn't. That wasn't fun? No. Why wasn't that fun to you? Um. You don't even have a reason. I felt very general. Well, that was up to you. I think that was cheating, though. When you're like, ooh, you can figure things out. Well, see, so my brain, the the way I I came up with it, I was like, this would be fun because at first you'll come up with the very uh, surface things, and then the longer you go, you'll have to get deeper. Because mm-hmm. you can say you can say surface things real quick, just spit them off, but then you got to get deeper with as the game goes on. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So that that's that's my idea. You can play it at home. Let us know how it goes. Oh, I was gonna say something about your lips. I didn't think oh, about it. You missed it. that one, man. Fuck. You missed that you one. You licked them, and I was like, well, I like those. <laughs> I like those. It's J Rod. Chris and Savile. And then we, the podcast, the fast growing podcast in Plant City, Florida. And where? Plant City. Okay. Shout out to y'all. I have no idea oh, what Oh, they don't is. get a horn. They don't get a horn. Hey. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's weird. When you tell me to do it, it comes out stupid. No, it's, it's, like a it's bicycle fine. Horn. I, I had to look it up too. Um, yeah. it's close to Tampa. Yeah, it's close to Tampa. So mm-hmm. shout out to them. Shout out to them. Yeah, man. Um, how are you doing? How was your week? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, long week. <sighs> it's been a long week. Mm-hmm. Um, so we. This is school. Okay, school started. All right, I had to. You know. Why? I've been doing really good about remembering my week. It took a minute. Mm-hmm. I had to start it up, but mm-hmm. I'm okay. Um, school started this week. Yes, it did. Man, listen. Listen. Oh my God. School started this week. We have four children. They all went to school. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a senior who skipped junior year um, and is now a senior. Yeah, give that a first. Yeah. 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 I try to say it like it's nothing, but I'm also. Um, and she had to get like a senior shot that's what they called it I never heard of that shit before in my life but really it was just for meningitis but Mm -hmm. they could have just said that instead of saying senior shot because then I had a whole bunch of questions maybe she says senior shot no that's what they call it when I called the doctor and asked them about it they knew exactly what it was I'm like no give it a name because what exactly are you injecting into my baby like Mm. I need to know these things Mm. Um, we have a freshman Mm-hmm. We have a freshman. You can also applaud for that. I mean, that's, that's starting that's, high school. That, that's not really. I know, but it's scary. He, pa- he passed last year. It's scary. That? Maybe that doesn't deserve it's scary. applause. Why it, is it scary? It just is. Going into high school is scary. I don't know. It's just, I mean, it's interesting, especially when you're at a new school. Mm-hmm. You don't know anybody. and You know, you don't really have any friends. And it's like, ugh. So, Which all is the case for him. Yeah. So um, <clears> that <throat> happened. And we have first graders. Our twins are in first grade. So it's yes. like the first number grade. It feels like it's really, really school. Mm-hmm. Um, so everybody's in school. Um, the only thing about it is, like, it doesn't really feel like everybody's in school because, for one, they're starting before Labor Day this year, and they don't, they've, this is the first time they've ever done that in um, Virginia, where we are. Um, but they're also taking off. Friday and Monday. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like, why are we starting before? Hey, listen, <laughs> For a couple I don't of days. got no complaints. Get them the hell out of here. No, it's, it's to me, it's stupid. Um, because, but, but they still get to enjoy Labor Day weekend. Like, you know, if you do cookouts or whatever, you still get to do that stuff. So, um, but that is happening. I've been a little bit of a, I, I was a little bit of a wreck, but I wasn't as bad as I thought I was going to be. Like, I think I was more internally in the night before a little bit more of a wreck. Like, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe that I have a senior. I can't believe that Chris is going to high school for the first time. I can't believe that the boys are going to, like, their first number grade, like, for real. They, This is their third year in school. They've done preschool. They've done kindergarten. This is first grade. Like, it's just a lot. And um, I got a little bit emotional this week. Um, first of all, everybody looked amazing. Shout out to everybody that was posting pictures of their kids in their first day of school. I I love seeing that on my timeline. I love seeing everybody's kids. Yeah, man. I like I think it's beautiful. I know there are people that like get sick of it. I love it. Keep it coming. I don't care. These babies look amazing. Y'all did a great job. Um, but so this year, the boys are once again in the same class. The senior, the 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 first graders, the twins. Um, they're in the same class this year. And a couple days ago, 
Well, one, we had to fight to get them in the same class because they had them separated. And I was like, I can't do this. Um, and this is where you mentioned the autism and stuff. Like, they are very connected to each other and routine is their thing and it's a whole thing. And one of them, their language skills are not as developed as the other one. So it's not necessarily his job to, like, interpret for his brother. But sometimes if you don't know what he's saying, I just don't want him to be in a room and no one can understand him. He's trying to get a point out. If that means anything. No, it means a lot. Uh, um, so <laughs> he I, will get frustrated. Yeah, he'll get frustrated. He might get mad. Um, it's a whole thing. So I um, am very protective of that. So we got them back in the same class. But then I got a call a couple days ago from the assistant principal who knows the boys very well. I mean, everybody knows the boys. Like, they literally walk in. Everyone in the school knows them. They're really good boys. They're really good boys. They're twins. They're adorable. Like, Kinda you know what cute. I mean? They're cute. They're nice. Like, they're sweet. Bo they're sweethearts. Um, so everybody knows them. What? Mm -hmm. They not sweethearts? No, 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 I wasn't looking at them like that. Shrooms. Keep going. Oh man. Oh my god, I forgot. <sighs> but they're sweethearts, right? So she calls me and she has concerns about them being in the same class. And I was trying my best not to be that mom that's like, uh-uh, I don't give a fuck what you're saying. Blah, blah, blah. Like just be like getting offensive immediately. I wanted to hear her out. Because she apparently spoke to her teacher last year. She spoke to her teacher th this year. They've only been in school for a couple of days. Two. Um, when they call. And I think that <clears throat> they, she was just like, I think it just would be better for their de development and all this other stuff. And um, But who are they to say that to us? But they said, you know, as the parents, you know better than we do. Right. Um, so they were having that conversation. But the, w the way she was explaining stuff, I'm not going to lie. I got a little emotional. I didn't let her know I was emotional. But just the thought of them separating right now, like, at first, we were going to separate them by first grade, but then, like, over the summer, we just kind of realized, like, they need a little more time. Like, maybe next year. Um, and just the thought of them being separate um, just kind of got to me a little bit because I just pictured them both in, uh, you know, their own environments and then maybe feeling lost. You know, my thing, because um, I've been thinking about this, mm -hmm. uh, my thing is separating them now. Like, they've gotten into the class, and they had to warm up, of course, yeah. to the school. Yeah. And just to take them out, one take one of them out of the class and put them in another class, I don't want them to feel like they did something wrong, because they mm. won't understand why. Yeah. You know, I don't want them to feel like they did something wrong. I want them to feel like they're being placed alone. I think if you do it now, while this, even though it's very early in the school year, mm -hmm. I think that that might play, you know, a mental game Part on them. Of, if it would have happened... <clears throat> Before I got the okay, right. before school started, it might have been different. But right. she felt like because she didn't really have a, a say-so in that, that she should just let me know how she feels. Mm. She was like, she just had it on her heart to call me. And, well, keep your heart to yourself. But I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't, I'm not going to make... It's not a bad thing because no. the fact that the assistant principal took her time to call me and have me on the phone because she was thinking about the boys... Mm -hmm. um, did kind of get to me a little bit because she didn't have to do that. No, you're right. The teacher could have called me, <clears throat> like anyone could have called me, but because everyone in that school knows the boys, she said she was in the classroom for something different and the boys were in there and she just kind of watched them too and she felt like she needed to call me. Mm. Um, so I've been back and forth with it, but I think like your point right now just kind of solidified that I don't want it to happen this year. But I'm not going to lie, they made very good points about it. It's just kids are just so... Kids can be cruel and somebody that is different. Like, it's just when you have that support system with you and then to be separated and you can't really communicate your feelings the way that you would like to, to me, it's just it's just scary. Yeah. It's just scary. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't want to think about that or being put in them being put in that situation. Um, because even though Cameron is more outgoing and more out, like, uh, you know, his... Uh, He's not more outgoing. His, well, not more outgoing. His communication is a little more advanced, and he can explain himself a little bit better. He's very shy, mm -hmm. and he'll go into a ball if he feels uncomfortable. When we went to go take them to meet the teacher, he was shaking in my arms. I've never seen him like that. He was crying because he had to go into school in the classroom, mm -hmm. and like it was almost like he was having a panic attack. If we're being completely honest, I've never seen him do that. And he was shaking. He had to put his head down. Like It took a minute to get him comfortable with being in the classroom and being around new people. 
Um, yeah. he's and so Caleb was right there. Caleb was saying, come on, you want to do this? You yeah. want to do that? Yeah. Caleb understood and saw what was happening with mm-hmm. Cameron, and he tried to jump right in. And uh, He was like, how are you <clears> feeling? <throat> are you feeling sad? Are you feeling happy? Like, all he was said he was sad and he was nervous. Mm-hmm. Like, all those things. And I think it's just as a parent, I'm like, I don't want to put them through that yet. I'm not, I'm I'm just not in space to do that yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so, okay, that was a long rant about, about that. So... We've been doing school stuff all um, all week. Um, we didn't go anywhere, right? We we talked about the last place we went. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, and then this weekend I actually went to a um, uh, an event that um, my friend put on. She's been working on this event for a while. It's called it was the Color Me Free networking event. She wrote a book called Color Me Free. Um, and it's kind of just about like finding yourself and you know all of that. Um, and it's still out. Uh, her name is Nakia Wiggins. Um, and I'm only saying her name in the beginning of the pod because she might not want me to be associated with her after the rest of the pod. Um, <laughs> cause she's a minister. She's what literally like the close, like the friend I've known like forever. Like we're like family at this point. Oh my gosh. What are you doing right now? What are you doing? Hmm? Oh my God. No talk. Any. <laughs> If y'all ever watch these episodes when he is like this on YouTube, he is just in his own world. He's barely here. Um, But she had like a, it was like a networking kind of like uh, launch thing for for her company and all that stuff. And she had um, some speakers there. And I think the, um, oh my gosh, that is going to make me so mad. The head speaker, her name, I think her name is Fanika Friend. I want to say that is her name, and that could be completely wrong because I feel bad because I actually didn't know anything really about her. It is Fanika Friend. Okay, that's her name. But apparently she's, like, um, you know, uh, big on social media, and she has a boutique, and she's a minister and all those things. But um, And I, I really enjoyed her. I really liked her. But, like, she had this thing called the group chat where it was just talking about building friendships and all this other stuff. Um, that me and our close group of friends that have known each other for like 20, 25 years all kind of like had panel discussion thing or whatever. But it was really, really nice. She had a mocktail bar that was so cute. Mm-hmm. The um, the venue was nice. She had food, the decorate. Everything was amazing. It was really, really nice event. Um, but I, I've just been back and forth about like what our panel was about. Our panel was about like building friendships. Um, sustaining friendships, just whatever. It was that kind of thing, right? But I've been thinking about this for a while. I don't know if I'm prepared to meet new friends. Why not? Well, for one, it's hard. When you are when you get older, it's just hard because people are established in their ways, and sometimes it's hard. But also, like, especially with anxiety. With the friends that I have, it's a good amount of the close, close friends that I have. I feel guilty if I haven't talked to them in a while. Or I feel like they're looking at me like she don't call me, she don't care about me, she don't check up on me because mm-hmm. I don't even though we're grown, like people should know. I'm pretty sure they don't think that, but in my head, I get anxious and I'll randomly text somebody just to be like, I want them to know I'm still, I'm still there. Still alive. I'm still in the spirits. I'm still mm-hmm. we still friends. I'm thinking about them. Because yeah. I'm always thinking about people but I don't always text everybody because sometimes it's just it gives me anxiety just all the messages you got to keep up with the messages and the conversations and then if you meet new friends then you got to make sure that you always contact them so they don't think that you left out or you don't care about them or y'all not friends no more or you one of those friends that's just like in and out and you don't really care you just there for I, I don't know like it feels like it's a lot It feels like it's a lot, especially when you're older, you have your own lives, you got things going on. Like, making new friends feels like pressure. But I think... I've got friends now that... Well, I'm sorry. I got friends now that you'll be like, why don't you call this person? Why don't you text this person? There's a friend specifically that doesn't really contact me anymore. Mm -hmm. They'll contact you. And no one contacts me, but it's because I know I don't reach out. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, but it's not like a, I'm not thinking about them, but I just, sometimes my mind is so overwhelmed with just regular shit that I just don't think to reach out to people or friendships that I've tried to build and I cannot, 
I I just I don't know. First and foremost, I gotta say you got a pretty mouth. I was watching you talk. That was the like, shrooms. That was a pretty. It's mouth. the shrooms. That's a pretty ass <laughs> mouth. It's the shrooms. Um, but no, uh, you know, I I've never thought about that. I've never thought about that. I don't think about when I make new friends. I don't think about how can I keep this relationship going. I just do it. You know what I mean? And I think you're putting so you put so much pressure and you build up so many things about said situation, and not just with making friends, but a lot of a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. I think, and it's probably your anxiety. Um, you you think you overthink so many things, and it and yeah. it paralyzes you from actually doing things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of just doing it, and you know, you make a friend, build a friendship. And if it falls to the wayside, then fuck it. It fell to the wayside. But at least you tried. But sometimes I want to build it, but I don't have the time to put in to build a friendship. Like, sometimes I'm yeah, like... Yeah, but see, right there, you're thinking about it. But I but I know there are people... Like, I know people that are like... Um, like, I haven't heard from this person. Like, they feel like the friendship is broken because they have it. But I have friends that I could not see for months or years, and then I see them, and we pick up like we left off. And you got people that just want to talk, so they'll hit you up. You ain't even got to do the work. Let's I know, but up. then I feel bad making up everyone else do the work to reach out to me. I'm not saying that you have to do that with everybody, but what I'm saying is that some people just make it easier to be their friend. Like, I, like for instance... Celis jumped up in my friend, uh, like my friend list, mm -hmm. mainly because he was really good at contacting me. He was really good at contacting me and hitting me up and seeing what was up, asking questions. He was just a really good person. But that do you that see that. what that means? What? For one, he called you all the time, he, right? I'm not talking about then. I'm talking about when we first met. Though. But I'm saying even... You're saying that like he jumped up in your friends because he contacted you all the time. I'm telling you that I can't contact everybody all the time, especially right. I have a lot of close friends or well, a decent number of close friends. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if I don't contact them, like I feel like I went down the ranks in my friendships. I can see that. Because I don't contact people. Yeah. But it's not that but I don't. That doesn't mean you're less of a friend. But with that, I don't, I've, I've said this before, I don't feel like I have, like, that one friend that you're like, I can just call them and be like, let's go do this, mm -hmm. let's do, like, I don't have that, the like, my person. I don't think I do. I think I have a lot of close friendships, and I have a group of friends that are, like, family to but me. But besides me, you don't have a best friend. I, yeah, I think that a lot of them are best friends, and it's not, it's no shade to them but or that, nothing. that person that you do everything yeah yeah I get and, it. and i told you this before like i don't i we had this conversation a couple of days ago i never want you to feel like i'm relying on you to be my person at all times mm -hmm. because you also you have friends you have a, a life you know what i mean like yeah we're married and we are each other's life basically but like you have your life just as a person and do you i think don't think our relationship uh, made it harder for you to have those kind of situations with no, your friends? No, So you were a bad friend beforehand. I'm just playing. Me? I mean, <laughs> that's not nice. No, I don't think that you hinder me from doing anything. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Like, I don't, I don't think that I am in a position where it's like, you can't go here, you can't do this, you can't talk to that person. I'm no, not, I'm not saying in that way. I or mean, even just... Hanging I mean, out. basically, like, because I became the person that you hung out and did things with. No, that's dating. Like, who dating. was that person before me? But that's dating. Well, who was that person before me? Was it your last situation? Oh, my gosh. Are you the girl that when she gets in a relationship, she says, fuck her friends? I've never said that, though. No, no, honestly. But actions. I, my last situation, yeah, but also my kid. I blamed a lot of stuff on, like, I'm... Well, you the, can't blame everything on but, your kid. But that's what a lot of my stuff was. Like, I'd go out with my friends and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. we'd go out and we'd hang out and we'd do stuff. But, like, I was content being home mm -hmm. and just being a mom. Mm -hmm. But, so, maybe that's it. I've just... I've always been kind of someone that I could be a loner if I needed to be. You know, I think... I think what's happening... Mm -hmm. And I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. But I think what's happening now is... You are on shrooms. 
well, that too. Yeah. And it is great. Oh, okay. Once you get over the first first Rocky Pats, I was in the first Rocky Pats about 20 minutes ago. Oh, okay. but Once you get over that and you just in it, whew, you just swimming. Um, mm. But no, I think what's happening is before you were okay with that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, but I think now you're wanting to explore relationships outside of your household. Yeah, but now I'm nervous about it because... I don't know. I think just getting older and becoming more myself, like meeting new people. And I've said this before, like I sometimes I feel weird in different situations. I don't know how to start conversations with people mm -hmm. or how to build relationships. And then like, oh, guess what? I'm kind of weird. Um, but I also just maintaining the relationship. Hmm. Like I had a what I had kind of like a friend date before. And I really like this girl. Like, she's really cool. She, I have no problem with her. But I always, I would realize that I just never hit her up. You put her in the friend zone. But I did. <laughs> so damn stupid. <laughs> like, I never, I never hit her up or anything. It wasn't anything that she did. It was just more like I'd get so settled in just being in the house mm -hmm. or so overwhelmed with shit that I had to do in the house or whatever. And I would just not, or not in the house, but like, in general, between work, pain, like all the stuff, and just never reached out. And I was like, damn, that's kind of me. But then I, I, the, it's the pressure to keep that relationship up. Like, are I'm, I feel like a standard is to, like you said, you, people raise up higher in your in your friend rankings because they come they communicate all the time. When you build a lot of friends, it's a lot of people you got to keep those up with. I realize that you're realizing who you are as a friend, but are you saying all this as an acknowledgement or are you saying all this because you're ready to be I don't know. a friend I think to I, more people and the people that you have? I think it's partly both of them, but also like, I don't know. I think my anxiety is just getting in the way of a lot of things. I think I just. Well, you don't want to do that. that... I mean, I don't want it to, but I feel like. I want to get back to being outgoing and doing things and all that stuff. But then it's also like, I just, I don't know if I can keep that up. I don't know. Man, this toenail clipper that I bought was like three something. I was like, why the fuck is this so much? It don't even got the little thing that clean. Baby, what is yeah, happening funny. right now? I was looking at my toenail like, oh, I can't wait to clip it. Baby. What? It's drill. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do we get through an episode with you like this? Don't worry about it, We're already 42 minutes in. We haven't even done a top six. We have it, man. I'm sorry, because I, it's probably my fault. It is your fault, but whatever. Well, you can tell the other part of our... Well, uh, I you, I wanted there to be... Is there a resolution to these thoughts that you had? That you. I don't really on? know what they are. I think it's just me, like... I always say that I want to build friendships and that I, I want friends. Mm -hmm. But then there's the part of me that's like, I don't know if I could keep it up and I don't want them to have a whole bunch of expectations of me and I can't fulfill them because I'll go into a shell and be in my house. Well, you should try. But I don't know. Hello? You should try. Okay. Okay. I th I think it, I really think that you should try because it sounds it sounds like me and then we'll go to something else. Um, it sounds to me as if you are longing for friendships both new and and that's old. and that's not saying I don't have them because I don't want one of my friends to hear this and be no, like she doing something not, not in, I, that's why I said both new it's and like old. I know I can't be a good friend and I feel like that has, well stop saying that that you're not or a good haven't friend. been well and, what makes a good friend like maybe I you well I think time spent is just one of the things that makes you a good friend but, but I, I think, think it also builds a lot of friendships and like I said with the friends that I've had for 20 something years i don't feel like i'm one of the strongest connections that any of them have i get it and i'm not saying that i i feel like they all have them with each other and i feel like we are all friends and i don't feel like they don't like they wouldn't just be there for me if i needed something but i don't feel like i'm a go-to friend for anybody and i and that makes me uncomfortable in in declaring that somebody is a go-to friend for me. So I just kind of retreat. So what you going to do? I don't know. I just was venting. Oh. Good good session. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> what about your week? I did miss something in our week. We went out. God damn it, I know what you missed. Oh, well, why you? What's wrong? Nothing. I was going to get there. Okay. I, you didn't let me let it get on my right. mouth. No, lead up. Okay. We went out um, to one of my favorite restaurants. Shout out to Tamara. Um, we told y'all a couple of weeks ago that uh, one of the listeners actually uh, gave me a box for yes. my birthday full of great goodies. And one of the things that was in there uh, was a gift card to my favorite Italian restaurant. Yes. Um, so we went there, and uh, my wife said we should have made reservations. I agree with her. Um, because when we got there, it was packed with rich white people. I was like, God I damn told it, they you it was going to be. Um, but it was okay, though. It was okay, though. I didn't expect it to be like popping I told you on that. a freaking Monday. I said on the Monday, all the old money come in there on a Monday because yeah, well, they ain't got nothing to do. In there. They, get, they get off of work, they come to the bar. They ain't or, got work. Or yeah, or they, they own stuff. Yeah, and they or they just got long money, and they like I that want long dinner money, today. Man. That I long want dinner money today. Was in there. Yeah, um, and we went there, and I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't wow this not. time. It I wasn't, wasn't wild. They cooked the uh, what did I have? Linguini. Yeah. They made it. It was great. Cook on the linguine, but between the time spent waiting for the food to come out yeah. and just the ultimate, just the 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 taste, it wasn't there the way I wish it would have been. But it felt good to get cooked, out with my wife. I had cooked a good dinner at home too. I could have just ate that. Maybe if that was the case. But yeah. it felt good to get out with my wife. That was a part you should have. It did. On. No, it did. Mm -hmm. It did. I liked having a date with you. Yeah, man. Now, with, I didn't have no at, on this date though. She did tell me that we were two completely different people and she hated me. But other I than did that, not. <laughs> That's not what happened. <laughs> it's my story. I... Oh. <laughs> That's not what I said. She she said that we are completely different people. And in order for her to get through her life, she had to realize that. That's not. That ain't what you said. You know, summed it's up. the words that you use. Don't I know it's sum, the words that I sum use. Up nothing. Use all the I'm, extra words. Listen, I don't be having time for extra words. All I know That's is. That's not what I said. So what did you say? I just said that we are completely different people. I said that. And I don't want to change you because before I felt like I was trying to change you. Like I would say things and make you try to like them and mm -hmm. or enjoy them and there were things you did not enjoy right. or like right. so i had to remember that we are different people yeah that's what i said when i was because that. the way you say it is like nah she like fuck me that's not what i said is that the way that's what you felt coming away from that no no mm -mm. Mm -mm. it must have got to you cuz i actually almost forgot about that conversation oh no i didn't forget about it that was the bulk of the conversation Baby, that's not fair. What's not fair? Don't do that. Don't do what? Because I didn't mean it like that. It was, it was a, it was a, it was, it was a better conversation than what the way you're making it seem like. You made it almost seem like it was a breakup. No, I wasn't doing that's that. That's the way you were wording it. But no, but, it's just. But I did. It's so funny that you say that breakup. I did wonder if she realized who more about who I was. Before we got married, would this have led to a breakup? Because it kind of did feel like that. It kind of did feel like you were saying, you know what? I thought we had so much in common and I just realized that we don't. No, I think it was more of a a me, a me thing. And the way that I've approached relationships and didn't notice until late that I think that sometimes I go in thinking that everyone's going to enjoy the things that I enjoy or like the things that I like. Mm -hmm. And I look at it like, I don't understand why you don't like this. Mm -hmm. But you also do the same thing. There are so many things that I like and enjoy, and you almost look at me like, I cannot believe you like this. No, Why I look, do you I, like this? I never look at you as, I can't believe You or question why. everything I like. No, no, no. I, <laughs> yeah, I do question it because I'm trying to figure out what is it about this that I'm missing? It's something about this that I am just missing. For instance, I don't. But you, you look, don't. You, you don't. Look, approach you know. It like that. You can look at the kids aren't obsessed with number blocks. I will never like number blocks, but I know what it is that makes them obsessed with number blocks. You know what I'm saying? And 
I just wonder sometimes when you, when I look at things with you, I'm like, what is it that makes her like this? So little things like the holidays, I like to cook a nice little spread or decorate a little bit or do all that stuff. I and figured would, that out. Did you? Because you would just always be like, why do you want to do that? Why are you doing yeah, that? I Nobody you, cares about that. I asked you those questions and you gave me answers. And then I was like, okay, I'm satisfied now. I know why she's the way she is about it. It doesn't change how I feel about it, but it does change the fact that I now know why she feels the way she does about it. And there's nothing wrong with that, I think. I think you're supposed to question, especially the people that you intend to spend the rest of your life with, yeah. you're supposed to question them about the things that they like and why they like their certain things so that you can understand what I think you were understanding or now coming to understand that you are two different people and you're comprised of two different lives. So there are things that are going to draw you to certain things while other things may just not draw your attention. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized there's a lot I of I just things. do it in real time. I think you just take information in. You just take an information in, and then you get it, and it's like, okay, and then you just sit with it. I think on the spot, we're two different people. It's fine. I don't know what that means. Don't worry about it. I'm on shrooms. Um, let's get to the top six. This is as long as it's taking to get to a top six. I before. said that a lot. <laughs> I know, man, but you also wanted me to say the thing about us going out, oh, which yeah. I enjoyed myself. Mm -hmm. I did. I don't. I don't, I don't want yeah. you to think. Yeah, differently. it didn't sound like you did. No, I enjoyed it. Okay. it. It was cool to be out with my wife without kids. God damn, without kids on a school night. On a school night, they man. was like, "Where are you going?" Uh, bye. Thank God, y'all got dinner in there. <laughs> y'all grown. <laughs> yeah, and they were and they were good. We came back and they were quiet. Yeah. Um. All right. Time for my favorite part of the show. Bitches love this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, baby. <laughs> Bitches love this. You do, man. Yeah. That's something else I could have said. You do great voiceovers. Okay, thanks. Your voiceover Thank voice you. is amazing. Thank you. Um, tonight or today, top six worst reasons to break up with somebody. Now, these are this is a list that we've compiled together. I'm sure you'll have your own thoughts on the list, but these are our top six worst reasons to break up with a person. You want to start? I start. Uh, you can start. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Number six, feet. Bad feet. Oh my god. Unpleasant looking feet. Oh my goodness. I'll break up with your ass for that. I will. I will. I will. As it always makes me feel uh, self conscious because I never know what people are talking about. Like, like you know. I mean, people. You people have a different definition of what pretty feet are. You know what I think happened? They stopped using that in comedy because back in the day, like in the nineties, mm -hmm. if you seen a bad foot, they'll expose the foot. Like, oh, look at the foot. And now they don't do that anymore in comedy. But yeah, a bad foot. What year was this, right? Like in the nineties. Okay. I can think of two things. Two two times. In Boomerang, they did it. Mm -hmm. They did it on In Living Color. Mm -hmm. They did it another time. Um, I was just watching something. Probably they, Martin or something. It might have been. Uh, it might have been something Maybe. like that. But anyway, you just expose bad feet. And it's nothing. If you have bad feet, it's, it's fine. Nine times out of ten, if you have bad feet, that means that you are on it a lot and you don't have a chance to take care of your foot. And that's fine. I, I need just a pedicure right now. We'll break so. up with you if you know that happened. You have a great foot. Pedicure, non-pedicure. That's never <laughs> been that's never been a uh something that has to happen for me. Mm -hmm. It just had to be a nice looking foot. When you look at it, it's like, yo, that is a nice foot. The the toes aren't all in the order that they're supposed to be, you know, things of that nature. Well, that's not fair. Some people can't help their toe placement. I know. I'm just glad I found somebody that, you know, had good toe place. Like, remember I looked at the baby and I was like, ooh. His ears aren't, uh, he, he got unattached oh, earlobes. Yeah, he was you know like, I mean? well, I was like I look that. at that. Look at I love an unattached earlobe. So it's weird. nothing that you can help, but oh it's God. just a personal preference for me. Oh my I God. love an unattached earlobe. Okay. <laughs> and I love some pretty looking feet, man. These are the top six worst reasons to break up with, a, break up with somebody. Number five. Uh, time zone differences. Mm. Um, this hasn't, this didn't happen to me in this way. Um, but it kind of did. So I had 
was dating somebody. Well, not really dating, talking to somebody that happened to be on the West Coast. We're on the East Coast. And they got up later. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, I, you know, we're before them. Mm -hmm. So we get up, whatever. I... I know how I am. I'm very annoying. You didn't get um, your first thing in the morning. <laughs> Grand Horizon Queen. I you didn't no, get that. No, I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't. I've never she got one. I always wanted one. Um, but I know how I am early in the morning. And if I'm just thinking from his perspective, mm -hmm. I'm annoying as fuck. I don't think you want to hear from me at like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. because that would get on my nerves. You're not annoying every morning. It's just some mornings you. Well, well we you live talk together. a lot every morning, and some mornings I don't want to hear it. We live together so i've gotten used to seeing you in the morning but mm -hmm. when you're dating somebody that's on the other side of the world mm -hmm. or on the other side of the country it's it's a little different because you're excited to talk to them oh okay yeah see how that works so it's like oh I'm my god excited. no um <laughs> so i know that would probably fuck with me uh because it fucked with me a little bit like i felt insecure calling at certain times because mm -hmm. i was like this is too early to have me you know what i mean <laughs> this is too early to encounter Kristen. I'm going to give him some space. But that would have, if I was on the other side of the world and I was talking to me, I wouldn't want to talk to me at 8 a.m. Damn. Yeah, so, so that, I don't know. It seems like it's probably stupid. You could probably work around that. But then what if y'all start living together and their sleep time is off and they going to bed too late or too early and you ready to go to bed? You know what I mean? Yeah. Not for real? No, nah, I've I've dealt with it, so yes. Okay, so, yeah. I've dealt with it. There's I've that. dated many women, and I was on the West Coast, and they were on the East Coast, and it was... Many women on the West Coast? Yeah. How long did you live on the West Coast, baby? You know, I was there often. Mm -hmm. So even when I wasn't living there, I was still out there a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, these are <laughs> oh the gosh. top six worst reasons to break up with somebody. Number four... Body count too low. I'm going to tell you right now. That makes sense for you. If your body count is too low, and I don't really have a numeric, you know, what it should be, but in my mind, you got to have a couple up there for some experience purposes. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. I need you to know what you're doing. Yeah. I need to, I, I want to get with you and be like, oh, damn. That was a great move. You practiced that one. I, What's I a see. good uh, starting point for you? What you mean? Like the the perfect amount to be like, oh, now you got to at least have this. Bodies, you mean? Yeah. Like I said, I don't really have a numeric number. So how would you know? How would I know? And numeric and number. I, same same word. Yeah. Um. I won't gonna let you get get that off. I won't gonna let that happen to you. Nope. No. You know what? Here it go. I don't have a number, mm -hmm. but if you say something like, "I ain't been with too many people," ah, that's too little. That's too little people. Especially when you say that. Yeah. Well, I, I ain't been with too many. Two people. things can happen. You could either be lying, mm -hmm. or. Like, cause it could be one of those. You know, I don't usually do this, but they do usually yeah, do yeah. that. Or they don't. You know, it hasn't been a lot. Yeah, and I don't want. Maybe find it was out. like one, or maybe they just suck dicks. And yeah, that's no, all they did. no. Over here, you got to do more than suck a good. You know what I mean? That that that's helpful. Yo, these these streams are kicking in. You that's, know what your delivery. Now I'm just saying that's now, helpful. Uh, nah, me. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, it's helpful, but it, it's not the ultimate prize. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I like to be in the bed with a person, and it's good. You know? Yeah. I don't know what's happening. What man? <laughs> Leave me alone. Man. I just don't know what's happening. But okay, the, you, you see, you call, you, you, you're calling attention to it. What's maybe you calling attention? You're to right. It. I did. You announced I it in am. the beginning. Mm. All right. You, These just be looking, you be looking to the side of <laughs> stuff that's not there, just smiling. I be trying to look. What is over there? These are the top six worst reasons to break up with a person. Number three. Body odor, pheromones. I, it's like body odor, like, yeah, it's not really a bad reason because mm -hmm. it's, that's a great reason to no, break up with somebody. Listen, some people just don't have the odor that I like. Yeah, because it's like, 
sometimes the the body the pheromones don't match each the other. The chemistry, yeah, it cancels it out. Like when you I wear, I even take chemistry. I have you shit. You know how you wear like you got a um you got a cologne, but it could be unisex, right? right. And I love it on you. That shit smells amazing mm-hmm. on you. Thank you. And one day. I think I went out of town. I think it was to do stand up, and I didn't have my perfume on me, but I had a, a little, uh, the little sample vial yeah. of that, and I was like, oh, "I'll just put this on." I felt like I had to throw up all day. <laughs> that shit was so nasty on me. I could yeah, not take it. And like, you ever? And don't act like people go act like they didn't do it. But you know how you be fucking somebody and it just don't smell like Yeah, them. no, of course. You know what? And I don't want to be chemistry. fucking you. And it's not that you smell bad. It's just that this is not going to work yeah, together. Yeah, I cannot smell this each time. Yeah, your cologne don't work on me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Come, your cologne. Your body cologne. The natural oils. Does not work with me. Very true. Come on, it's not balanced. That's a balance thing. Baby, they can't hear you're that. You're right. You're right. They can't hear All that. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's 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 where I'm at. Scale. That's yeah, what I should have said. Scale. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I can't do this. Nope. No. These are the top six worst reasons to break up with somebody. Number two. Why are you yelling? I don't know, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Does it sound like a tunnel? When you like the sound change? No, I'm I'm just I'm, no, I'm asking. I don't know. I'm, I'm just in a zone, so it might have got louder because I'm in the zone. Okay, go ahead. Number two, <laughs> I got you at the zone. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams. I'll break up with you if I had a bad dream about you. I will. I promise I will. If I dream that you're cheating on me, if I dream that you tried to kill me, or anything of the of the sort, you tried to unalive me in my dream, no. No. It ain't working. We got to break up. I know it ain't real. I know it doesn't make any sense. But at the end of the day, if you did it in my dreams, you might do it in real life. See, no, I can baby. see you doing it. Like, literally had a vision baby, of you doing it. Baby. You got to chill out. I'm serious. He said dreams, and all I could think, was, think of was, uh, dreams of fucking and r and dick. You ever heard that? Yes, I have. Okay. And then I was also like, dreams are You was just thinking of all the dream songs? All you have to do. You know that song? No, nah, I don't know that really. one. It's a Shanti. All right. Don't worry about it. Um... Okay, that's yours. Yeah, dreams. Yeah, that sounds so. Little, yeah, sounds a little. Don't wild. do nothing messed up in my dreams. Sounds a little psycho. Yeah, okay. That psycho is real. It's a little bit, but okay. <laughs> these are the top six worst reasons to break up with somebody. Number one, I think this is a universal one um, for most people. Okay, but for me, if you're not funny, I I cannot do it. No, I get it. I I am hilarious. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. And it took you a couple of tries because I was like, I don't know. If I just had to find out what kind of comedy you like. And that then when all. you got it, I said, oh, take my draws. Take them here. Take them. Put them in your pocket. Take them draws. Do you hear me? That's terrible. I can't live with somebody. I can't create a life with someone lying to them forever. Why you got a lot of Making person? them believe that when they make jokes, I'm going to laugh at them. Because <laughs> I'm not going to laugh. Like, I can't go from day to day. I can't cook you dinner and I don't respect your humor. You know the messed up part, though? That 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 That's harsh. Is it? That's harsh. If I don't respect you as an everyday comedian. But you're a professional. And that's the problem. Don't come in here and make jokes around me, nigga. Eat this dinner. <laughs> Just be the man of the house, nigga. Don't try to make jokes. Don't have a personality around me if that's the material you're going to give me. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, If man. that's what you're going to give me, I don't want it. I don't want it. I need, I need, I need start. <laughs> I need beginning, middle, and end of a joke. I need a closer at the end of the night. I need you to just make me genuinely laugh with you, not at you. That's messed up. Because then also... I walk around here, I'm hilarious. The kids laughing at me, you do some shit, and the kids looking at me like, Ma, this nigga? And I'm like, ah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> uh, the dick was good. I couldn't get past it. Like, I can't, it's gotta be something. Okay. We I can't, I can't carry the weight of, of the, the fun. of the fun in my house. 
Because it's not going to be fun when you do some dumb shit. Because I'm going to walk around angry. How are we going to build a family? I'm angry at you. Mm. That's a word. Right? You can't carry the funny in your house. If, a ma- if one of the biggest qualities I have is a sense of humor, mm-hmm. I can't carry the weight of that. I got other things to do. You can't expect me to be funny, but also take care of these kids and then have a job. Like, I can't do all of the things. You got to help me out. Sometimes I'm too tired to make these niggas laugh. Sometimes <laughs> I'm exhausted. You got to have a joke in the tuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's that's me. But go ahead. Well, that right there was our top six worst reasons to break up with a person. If you have a reason that shouldn't be up here, but it's a reason. Uh, yeah. Let us know mm-hmm. in the comments. And that's that. <laughs> what? You, you That's can't even now. close up yeah. topics like this. Oh. <laughs> question of the day, man. We had question of the day. We're going to stick to your uh, your theme of funny. Okay. Um, funny is insult that you've given or received. Mm. Um, when I was younger, and it, they weren't being mean. I think it was like a lovable con- uh, insult. Mm-hmm. Um, but they said they could... Um, Read my thoughts like a teleprompter because I had a big hit. Go ahead. Forehead, my forehead. Yeah, you didn't have it. to. You wasn't even there, to be honest with you. <laughs> no. I don't remember seeing you at all. Let me tell it. Don't don't predict what the insult is. Don't see something wrong with me and say they was probably talking about their forehead. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Why would you do that? Wow. Wow. My bad. My bad. But I get it. I shouldn't say I get it. I was a child I when don't they said get that it. to me. They was a child. I was a child. Damn, you had that forehead that long. <laughs> I grew up with some gangsters. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, I grew up with some soldiers in the comedy field. Like, mm. middle schoolers are hilarious. You ever talk to one? No, I try not to. Man, they you should give them a chance one Mm-mm. day. They, nope. are, they got some thoughts. Nope. I like them. Then talk to these kids for three years. Nah, I, mess with, I mess with little middle schoolers. <sighs> like, they, they say what? Because they're right in between the age where it's like, I say stuff because I don't realize it has consequences. Mm-hmm. And when you start trying to be cool and you don't say nothing. So they right there was just like, I'm going to say whatever's on my mind. And that forehead is a large. <laughs> 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 they don't care. Damn, I'm sorry about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, funniest insults that insult that you've given or received. Man, uh, I got to give you context with this, though. Mm-hmm. Um, it happened yesterday. You were there. <gasps> You were there. Oh man. Um it was a dark day. It was dark. <laughs> dark. <laughs> let me so, You gotta say the whole part yeah, of it. I, well, I gotta let you know, first and foremost, it came from my grandma. My grandma dissed me the other day, man. Um It was yesterday. It was yesterday. It was very fresh. Yeah. It was still it was yesterday. It hurt a little bit. That's probably why your troops now. <laughs> <laughs> Brought me down low, had yeah, to get back up. Yeah. Um, no, uh, so this woman that I've known my entire life. She loves you dearly. Loves, well, she, she, she used she, to. She does. It's still in there. She, you know. Yeah. My grandma has dementia. Yeah. So every day is a new adventure for her. Uh, it's fun, though. <laughs> dementia and adventure. It's fun. Same word. It's fun. Yeah, man. Um, so she don't be remembering shit. She don't be remembering me. <laughs> she she but don't remember yes, but nothing. Never ever remembers <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Every day she asks him who he is. Yes. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. Or no, she thinks she knows who I am. It's just never the right person. So. Um, but yesterday she knew who I was. And you would think that would be something that you're excited about. You champion that. Mm-mm. Nah, I need her to go back to the dark ages. Uh, cause this woman said. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Let me hold your hand while you don't touch me. Oh, oh my hand. <laughs> oh God! What? Matter of fact, you say it. She I want to see if it hurt the same way. All right. She said, "I'm gonna try to say it. I'm gonna try to say it like she probably said it." She said, "You gained some more weight." <laughs> <laughs> some more meaning that the last time I seen you, you were smaller. Than the weight you are right now. Some more. But then. But then. We leave in the house. And he t- 
told his mom when she said she had come in the kitchen by then. And his mama was like, you said he was fat? <laughs> Did I use the word fat? No, but you intended for the word fat to hit my heart. She said, Did I say fat? Did I, fat? Just said fat. You know what? He was like, She ain't gonna come in the kitchen mad. She don't remember nothing. No other time. But she no ask other me. time. But yesterday she knew oh. she was gonna tell me that the last time she saw me, I wasn't as big as this time. So, Man. Um, yeah. Man. The worst insult, funniest insult. Nah, oh, she's great. That I've received. She's um, great. <laughs> she is great. Yeah, man. Let's get to your answers. Let's get to your answers. Uh, what's the funniest insult that you've given or received? If I died, it would be a national holiday. Okay. I've had that happen plenty of times. Uh, oh, they didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, elementary school, don't sit next to me. I don't want to catch the diabetes. <laughs> <gasps> I told you kids are... I didn't know you could do it. Oh didn't know it was a gosh. catchable thing. Why but are they like this? I guess so. Uh, somebody says, someone took me... I uh, Hold on. Someone told me I look like the underside of a cow udder. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's wild. The underside of a cow udder. I don't know what that means, but I laughed. I returned, to tell, I returned with telling him... While he was in prison, he was the prison's practice rape test dummy <gasps> to make sure that they were doing it right. <gasps> He's just now talking to me after two years. That is, <laughs> that is insane. That is a man's friendship. That is a man's friendship uh, to try to break down the person that you call friend. Home. <laughs> um, I was out. I was having an argument with a guy I went on a few dates with, and he said, "That's why your elbow's ashy." I was like, "Well, damn." Um, <laughs> somebody said, "No, nah, not somebody." Slim. I wasn't even gonna read that no, one. Oh, I, no, I put it there for a reason. Oh, uh, Slim said, "Gerard is a better friend than you." It really pushed myself and Celis and Zeb to be better people. Damn. Damn. Damn, I didn't think I was that bad of a friend, but maybe I am. No. Uh, somebody told somebody else, go drink some fat-free water. That's fucked up. <laughs> um, I'm going to read some of them on my page because I don't think you got those. On I had some page? of mine. Yeah. I didn't know you put any on I your did. page. Uh, I would have asked you to the prom, but I wanted to make sure that I had sex that night. <gasps> Yo, but for real, though, that, that, that's, that's a real thing. You don't you don't add a person to the prom that you don't know you gonna, you going to smash. Can like, I can I add to that? What? My mother put that. <laughs> oh my god. That's where you get it from. All right. <laughs> uh, somebody said I told a female that her breath smells like horse burp. That's fucked up. That's horse burp. Yeah. Yeah. Um damn. Damn, wait, hold on. <laughs> Somebody called her a gap tooth, fat ass looking like Yolanda Salvador, Saldivar ass bitch. Oh, man. I was only offended by the Yolanda Saldivar yeah, reference that because hurts. I love Selena. That hurts. Damn. Not Selena's, not Selena's <laughs> bus. Here's another one. Hey, babe, let's get up and go brush our teeth together. <laughs> hey, hey, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you got to make it a group effort. Yeah, I mean, you talking to me? No, I I never want to make a group effort with you, baby. Why? That's a solo mission, so baby. You need that back to by yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, <sighs> I told my husband one day I hope his CPAP clogs up when That's he was getting up. on my nerves. That's death. You wish death uh, on him. Uh, someone said your father looks like he grows limp cabbage. What do y'all be talking about? <laughs> Yo. Why is that funny? <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. I hate y'all. Why is that funny? I hate y'all so much because that is hilarious. I said her feet look like loaves of bread in those sandals. We're going to call her whole wheat feet. Oh. Hey, man. Whole wheat feet. Did you read the other one? No, My I... ex, while losing an argument with me, said, man, you're not even a whole bitch. You a piece of bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be mad if somebody. First of 
I can't fulfill my destiny to be in a complete bitch. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, hold on. There was one up here that I wanted to read, and I, I don't think it came up, man. Uh, funniest insult I got was I was immune to growing an ass. <gasps> that is hilarious. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Damn, son. Uh, not that I've given or received him, but I got two good ones. My brother told his homeboy to pull his shoes up because he was flooding. Uh, <laughs> and the other one said, second one is my homeboy told this girl she had ashy toe knuckles. <gasps> Some people be having ashy toe knuckles, though. Really? I've never seen it. Never seen that? No, yeah, man. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. That is horrible. It's kind of crazy. Man. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of a thing. That will conclude this portion yeah, it was really show. short but i would have yeah i had more in there uh but i for some reason they didn't pull up also i put this up kind of late yeah, but yeah. usually i put up the question of the day uh the day before you record the show yeah. and it's usually on our social media mm -hmm. sites so make sure you're joining all of those i'm sure we'll talk about that in a second yeah uh, because we're gonna take a pause for the cause yes um guys we're still out here adding dates to this tour thing that we have going on um so september 14th which is in a couple of weeks we're gonna be in portland oregon we weren't there last year we will be at the Helium again this year. We came the year before that. So if you are in Portland, Oregon, or surrounding cities, uh, please make sure that you come out to Helium. Um, I'm excited about coming there after being there for, you know, we was there two years ago. Um, but make sure you come out, bring everybody you know, do all the things. I don't really know anybody in Portland, so um, I want to meet y'all and do the stuff. Um, October 13th, Las Vegas. Y'all been asking us to come to Las Vegas forever. So this is our very first time coming. Um, we're going to be at the Wise Guys in Town Square. Make sure you get your tickets ASAP. Um, October 26th, we're going to be in Oklahoma City at the Bricktown Comedy Club. I feel like last episode he said it wrong. I don't know if it was Bricktown, um, but it is. It's Bricktown Comedy Club, October 26th. The next day, we're going to be in um, Tulsa, Oklahoma on October 27th at the Bricktown Comedy Club. Um, these are Those are rescheduled dates because we had a mix-up with the dates before and we had to cancel. Um, so we're coming back or we're coming there for the first time. So make sure you get your tickets. All the tickets can be found on it. And then we had sex.com, except for the tickets with me doing stand-up. Um, and then we had sex.com. Uh, the link... Tr <clears throat> what? Why do you do that? Because you mess up my editing. Continue. What? I don't have anything else to say. Oh, okay. Well, make sure you're joining us on socials. Oh, my gosh. And make sure you join us on socials. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We are on Twitter or X, whatever you call it. Twitter. And we're also on TikTok. So make sure you're joining those. All of those are. And then we pod. Also, we have Patreon. Yay, Patreon. Oh, my gosh. This is so annoying. What? <sighs> Nothing. You're fine. Yeah. Make sure you join us on the Patreon. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we put up. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's we put up a whole bunch of different videos, which is like the behind the scenes of us. This is, you, well, I could have just said this. Once again, let me do. It's okay. Don't yeah, stop talking to me like that. What? You be having outside thoughts, and y'all you know, just be like, you know, we can talk about that later. No, I was literally talking about doing this. What are you talking about? Nothing. All right, let's get into the topics, man. Very confused. But okay. Let's get into the topics. Uh, so I seen this on, I guess it's a new trend, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if we could do it. It's and not that new. You know what it is? I don't be knowing. I think it's you. you your, your TikTok is full of uh, court cases <laughs> and beekeepers uh -huh. and shit like that. And you don't see the, you know, the romantic stuff, the couple stuff, I don't the, see that. the dances. You don't see those things. Yeah. I, and you know what? I'm glad that whoever does the algorithm knows the shit that I want to see. 
fucking bees. Bees. <laughs> bees <laughs> and honey. <laughs> you <laughs> weirdo. No, listen, I I like what I like. And I don't like all that trendy shit. It's like, you, the thing is, if you were into beekeeping, mm-hmm. I would get it. But you're not. You don't know what I'm into. I've never even seen you eat honey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I don't see you watch bees when they outside. I don't see yeah, you do anything. From them. You're right. They just on your <clears throat> timeline all the time. You're absolutely correct. They are. Okay. But I, because I find some things I just find fascinating, man. Yeah. Like bees. What is it about them? Tell me. They be making honey. Yeah. That is why. Like, what do you make? Milk. That's it. That's a big thing. You can't make that. You right. And that's even worse. I can't make nothing except kids. Kids is a that's big all thing. I can make. But bees you can make can, kids from a little little. But spat. bees can make milk. They can make kids. You just can't make food. That's fine. You but some, bees some can. Would, some would call that, it that. that <laughs> some, would, some would call it edible. Some would. Whatever, man. Like I, I don't know. I just find it. I just find it cool. I, I, I like certain things, man. And the trendy shit, I just can't get with. Except the, uh, give me my money. That was cool. Was it, though? That was cool. Because I could not understand. I love that. I only liked it when people I knew did it. Like, some of my friends did it with their kids Uh and their parents. And I was like, oh, that's cute. But other than that, I don't know what this is. I thought it was so funny. I thought it was so funny. Like, I don't know. Okay. But mostly, you know, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not, but I still want to do it, man. <laughs> Maybe it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not funny at all. Yeah, man. Uh, most likely challenge, the couple's edition. Okay. That's what it said in the video. I can tell because you got it underlined. Yeah. Like, that's the title. <laughs> that's so. what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so we're going to do this. You ready? Okay, are we going to give answers to why we think that? Maybe. Yeah. We just do it the way we it goes down. Well, in this, you're supposed to point to each other, and it's audio, so how do we tell people? I guess you got to also watch the YouTube. No, we can, we can <clears throat> but go ahead. All right. Uh, most likely to get arrested. That is me. You. <laughs> that is me. I almost said me, but I was like... No, nah, because you don't give a fuck. That you just be me. doing all kinds of reckless. You be making U-turns in places you ain't supposed to make U-turns. Listen, man, been there, don't want to go back, but I will. You be just get like, what are you doing? Hey. You don't care about nothing. Hey, man, fuck it. Okay. Uh, who's the best kisser? I think I am. Okay. You think different? I, I thought this was supposed to be quick. I know, but I don't have a quick you got to either you or me. Sure. I I think I'm okay. I didn't say you a bad kisser. It says the best, though. Who's I, the better? I think I'm a better kisser. You think you're the better kisser? I don't like the way you said that. I'm just asking. Yeah, you I do. Why? I just do. Hmm. You know what? I won't argue with you because you're a great kisser. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, who said I love you first? You, you did. You, you, you keep saying definitely that. said I you love you first. You keep saying that. I know exactly where we were when you said it. <clears throat> where, where were we? We was at, oh, I think we were at your parents' house at you that time. You think? Baby, you said it. You did I might have said it. I'm sure I said I love you. I said I love you today. If I didn't, I love you. No, you but said it first. You said it first. I didn't say it first. I man. would never say it first. I would never say it first. Baby, I would never. I know I would never say it first. No, you did say it See, first. See, you saying that I said it. Ha, I thought you said it was fast. All right, whatever. <laughs> Uh, what's <laughs> what starts? Who starts most arguments? You, you do, baby. You, you know you do. do. No, you no, do. You, you know you do. You know it's you. No, because I baby. don't want to talk about. Okay, maybe oh, you know, it's that's me. That's a lie. That's a lie. Maybe it's me. It's me that don't want to talk. Okay, okay. See, when I read this question, I'm thinking, who brings the conversation to an argument? Which is you. No, I, I'm good at completing arguments. Yeah. I'm not good. I don't start them, though. No, look, if you rev me up, I'm in it. I give you topics. Now, what you do with the topic is your choice. No, no. I try to walk away from it, and then you come <laughs> in, in the room like, nah, because we got to talk about this now. I'm that, never going to be able the to. The argument's already ensuing by that point. No, it's you ensuing it. That's me walking away and you coming into my After space. After the argument has already started. No, it could start. You you start a conversation and I'm like, all right, it's fine. All right. It's all right. And then you'd be like, nah, because you said this, so it's not fine. 
this is why it's not fine. I'm like, I'm, I'm just in the room. I'm being, I'm all right. I don't want to talk about it. No, because I got to talk about it because I'm thinking about it all day long. I mean, that is true. But whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't start them. Uh, who needs m the most attention? You. Me. Me. You. Yeah. But that's because you don't like attention. Okay. You don't like attention. Okay. Um, who's the better cook? Me. You. Uh, who's the most spoiled? You. Am I spoiled? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you are spoiled. Am I? Okay. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Who's the funniest? You. Me. Who has better style? Me. You. Who takes longer to get ready? <laughs> me. <You. laughs> Whose mother-in-law likes the more? Me. Uh, me. I think your mother likes me way more than my mother likes you. So you don't think your mother likes me? I didn't say she didn't like you. <laughs> I didn't say she didn't like you. I'm just saying if, if it's whose mother likes who more, your mother the way likes me way more than my mother likes you. Probably. That's yeah. probably. My mom just glad that somebody's here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's going to take me to our next topic, oh man. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> and then you put this in here. Uh, or maybe I did. No, nah, I did not put that I in there. I didn't put this in I would not have put that in there. That's you. All right. Uh, Nan, what's her name? Paul Nandy on something. On X or Twitter. All right. Said, there's no single woman above 30 who is happy to be single, no matter how you pretend to be. Deep down, you want a man. That is a fucking lie. Why do people do... You know what? Well, no. That's a lie. I know how social media works. Mm -hmm. People say things to get retweets and get engagement. I know how engagement works. Mm -hmm. I don't think she really believes this. I know plenty of people. I'm not trying to be funny. I don't know her, but Tracy Ellis Ross looks like she's having a great time. She could have is anybody she, the, she wants. But is she the outlier? No, I know people that are fine being single. Okay. Yeah, I know people over 30 that are okay being single. Like, the choice is theirs to be single. Like, they, they're they choosing to be single. Yeah, I know people that have, are, you know, there's a lot of people going through, I want to find myself, I don't want to deal with a man, a woman, or anybody. There are people that are like that, and there are people that just don't want to be tied down, and they want to live their life and do whatever. I get that. Yeah, I know people that are really like that. I get that. Me what? too. Me, me too. I no, I don't. No, I don't. Every woman I know over thirty want a man. Most of your friends that talk to you are talking about men. Yeah. 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 I can understand that, but no, I know plenty of women that are like, even if they, even if they have gone through a relationship and gone through a breakup, they're satisfied with being by themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There are people in this world that don't want to have companions. I don't understand why people don't get that. I think the problem is, and maybe not a problem, but I think more and more people are are choosing that way of to live. Mm -hmm. um, and I get it. No, I get it too. I I've said it. that before. I just don't understand why people don't, why people cannot fathom that someone would want to be by themselves. I don't understand that. That doesn't make sense to me. But I get that. Let me ask um, New study. Uh, this study was conducted by the University of Kansas. I don't care about who, who did it. You don't? Who do I know in Kansas? Not saying y'all ain't out there. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with y'all, but like, why do I care about that? Well, anyway, there's a new study that claims that happy couples are less likely to post their partner on social media. Okay. I mean, I don't post you because we don't take no pictures together. Okay. We take pictures of the kids and then the occasional one by herself, but we don't really take any pictures together. And we have a podcast. I mean, if they don't know you with me yeah, by now. See, <laughs> I don't. But also, like, some people want to keep their stuff to themselves. I, I, it doesn't matter to me. I, I know me. Um, I'm not purposely trying to hide anything. When I'm in a relationship, I want to... Show everybody. But. Mm, not really, really. Mm. It's not showing everybody. It was more so of being happy that I'm with you, I guess, maybe. Mm -hmm. Showing that you're happy? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to think. I, I do know that, you know, um, that was my thing, though. I was always posting. But it was a different 
it was a different time back then. It is so funny how much social media is a part of our lives and people act like it's not. Mm-hmm. They act like it's, I, I didn't have to do that and I didn't need to, and I wasn't worried about that, but we also didn't have this. Mm-hmm. Like, people just grow up in different times and that's fine, but like, I, I think the people that rely on it to show what they're doing in their day-to-day life, because like, if you look at my page, I don't really post that much. Mm-hmm. Um, but like the people that are like, they have to all the time, that's the kind of life that they have. Like social media is a lot to them. I don't know what that means that if you're happy, you don't post them. I don't, I don't know what specifically that is, um, that's doing for you. I don't know. I don't, but I, it seems like the happiest ones be the ones that you only see them post the picture of their, of their mate. And maybe they're not happy. I don't know. But they post a picture of their mate on anniversary. Like, oh, I just want to say happy anniversary. I'm like, nigga, I thought y'all broke up. You ain't posted this motherfucker in three, four years. But see, it's people like you that's worried about that. No, not worried. Or you that, just be like, oh, or that shit. Depends on that. That motherfucker still exists. Because there is a lot of, there are a lot of people, if they don't see you on the thing, they they think that y'all not together or mm-hmm. that you don't like, y'all breaking up, y'all don't like each other or whatever. But mm-hmm. like. But I guess that that's what I'm saying. I guess I can understand that. I know I was just different than that, you know. But there are also people that, um, and I might be guilty of this, but like just thinking, like, oh my god, my thought just went completely out of my head. Mm Okay, that's crazy. It's okay, baby. It happens. No, it's not. I gotta get it back for real. That's gonna fuck with me. I can't do that. Well, anyway, um, there are people. Mm, She wanted. She want this one. (laughs) She want this one. Yeah. Let's give it a couple of seconds to get it. There are people mm-hmm. that think that think what boo? you gotta you gotta post you gotta do something. <laughs> oh, dude, oh my gosh! Right now, now there are people. I was started the, very confident. Talk about the people. I started very confident. You remember? The, you remember the beginning? Every time it's so it's confident. the meat of it. There, there. Wait, you, wait, did you change your voice to try to get it? I'm trying to trigger my memory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are people. <laughs> that thing just maybe, flew out of there like that. <laughs> <Did> you... <laughs> <laughs> I tried to I tried to <laughs> mess with Xavier that thing. I tried to... <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> I don't even care about them damn people no more. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Do what you want. I don't know where that went. Where did that go? Oh man, man, that is crazy. I guess the moral of the story is: if you like your person, then fuck it, do something. Because uh, if you know, you gonna forget. You gonna forget it. <laughs> Post your person, or you might forget them. <laughs> the people go oh man oh man I don't even you know care what about that. i'm sorry before we get to the next topic i'm sorry because i call you nosy so much but i realize that i'm nosy as fuck too on social media you still can't remember what the fuck you was gonna say don't worry about it um, i felt no. like i was really gonna contribute to that conversation <laughs> i had a really good point to make to wrap that up in a little bow it's okay. That thing just went out the window. But no, like I'm, I'm definitely nosy. I don't like know that. why I keep looking over there. Ain't no window. There ain't nothing over there, baby. Um, but no, there. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Oh uh, no, we. Um, no wait, did it just leave me? Wait, no. no. <laughs> you say you nosy. Oh, I'm nosy, just like you. I, so I why talk you about come you. Come to my rescue like that. My bad. You don't remember. But what I was saying, you, want to, you didn't say nothing. You you just said these people. Man. These people was on you. <laughs> I still don't know what. I still don't know what. Talking I Talking about saying. the people. Um, the people gone, baby. The people gone. <sighs> they gone. <laughs> <laughs> they gone. Uh, but, fuck it. I, it's gone from me. You too. nosy. Oh no, I'm nosy. I am nosy. See, I got a, I got an excuse though. Uh-huh. Um, I am nosy because I be looking. Like one of my homegirls, I swore she broke up with her man like 17. Well, her husband like 17 times because every time she posts, I'm like, how is she just posting this? Just, just posting this right now. 
Where what, he at? What was she posting, baby? You know, I won't get into all that. It ain't nothing bad. She's not posting anything bad, but I'll be like, where, where is he at? He, he, she was with somebody else? No. She's never with somebody else, no. She had ass or something? Does she have ass? I think she got ass. I mean, was it that kind of picture? No, not at all. She's just always somewhere without oh. this nigga. Oh, okay. Like, but she be, like, every day, just mm. somewhere without him. Mm. I'm like, what What the fuck is it? Like, I want to follow him so I can see what his life is. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> I'm sure at home they got a great life, but I be wanting to follow. Well, what is he doing? You ain't never looked at somebody enjoying it. Like, well, what is the partner doing, Probably man? sitting home like you would be. That was shade. Was it, though? That was shade. Or was it shade? That was complete shade. I right. Man, it got cool in here. That shade away. That's fucked up. What's the next one, baby? That I told I told y'all earlier she didn't like me. No, uh, and we after are she different told us people. At dinner, she you told just, us at dinner. You just said so you wouldn't be at home because you don't like to go nowhere? It's not that I don't like to go anywhere. So what places do you like to go to? His, look, look, exactly. Let's I get told to the next her. Subject. I told. I don't like going to the club. No. I you also don't like going to restaurants or parks no. and recreation or. No. What else is outside? <laughs> Malls. Like, no, I don't. Hardware stores, Seven Elevens, Targets. What else? What else is out there? Huh? Whatever, babe. Huh? Whatever. Dealerships. I just don't like the mundane. You want to be lit in a different country every day. A hey, little bit. Yeah, um, well, you should have moved to another country and met a foreign chick. I'm sure you know some. All right. These are <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. I'm man. not an asshole. All right. These are a list of... <laughs> Of the least attractive hobbies for men, according to women. So it kind of goes right into your shade, man. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> you opened it up. <laughs> mm hmm. Most unattractive things. Wait, hold on. That's not even the, the top one, is not even the one I bust out laughing on. And what are you laughing at? Magic tricks. <laughs> Nigga, if I knew how to do magic, I'd be doing magic every day. Listen, <sighs> David Blaine could be my my friend. That's very attractive. But mm. Well, in this, the top one is uh play video games. But who's taking these surveys? Who's I don't, doing it? I don't know. It's just the same people who do the family few surveys. Same exact people. Because what are y'all talking about? <laughs> Is it unattractive or are you led to believe that it's unattractive? Unless your person is just icing you out and I don't want to talk to you and it's like every day. You do that, but it's for a couple of hours and I'd be needing them a couple of hours. <laughs> so, um, collecting figurines. I've never been into collecting things, so. Well, yeah, you like to throw everything away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you would never collect shit. You like to throw everything away. Yeah, man. Magic tricks. That's magic hilarious. tricks is dope. I'm telling you, if I knew magic. Online trolling. No. No, that's whack. No, it is. Um, gambling. Mm. That is very unattractive because you're losing a lot of money. Nah, I love gambling. Yeah, it's unattractive. Um, wait, what are you doing? Building model trains. No, Why not? I, I think it's patience. pretty cool. <clears throat> I think stuff is... I think when you have anything that you're, like, really in tune with, mm -hmm. I think it's cool. I don't care what it is. I think... I'm like... So I'm, you think that's attractive? You have a passion. So you think that's attractive? I think having a passion is attractive. I think that if I met a dude that... You know, I saw... Uh, it was like a trend where all these people were showing off their Lego creations. Mm -hmm. And they were, like, the real like detailed ones and they like would collect them, put them together, all this. I I don't have a problem with that. Okay. I mean, I, it, it's cool. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'd be like, God damn, that make her batter. Cause she know how to put this Lego together. I just think it's cool that you have a thing. Yeah. But does it make you attractive or less attractive? So to speak. I think it's attractive. Okay. okay. Taxidermy. Yeah. That's yeah. I get it. Comic book collecting. I think that's cool. 
I think that would make a woman more attractive. Yes. I think it's cool too. And it's money. Bird watching. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You bird watching? Bird. Maybe I want to go outside and watch a bird. Yeah, not with me. You should add up there bee watching. Nah, no, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I think that shit weird. <clears throat> what it's because it... you're not into bees. You just watching the videos. If you were into bees, it would be, if bees were like your shit. And you knew varieties of bees. <laughs> if I could point a bee out and you was like, oh, that's the whatever bee. So like, is that your problem with it that I don't like, I don't know the fucking different bees? No, because if a bee approach you, you like run. And I'm yes. like, nigga, you love him. No. <laughs> you love him. You watch his boys every day. You a fan. All right. <laughs> you a fan of the bee. So what makes a person less attractive to you? If I lived right next door to my favorite celebrity. Okay. I would be so excited. Like, I, I would want to see them every day. I wouldn't. You got bees that come up to your doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, I'm here. <laughs> What's up? I know, I know you heard about me. <laughs> I see you watching me on the telly, you know? I don't know why I feel like they're from somewhere else. I don't know why. You know? I don't know why. What makes a person less attractive? You should get a B screensaver. Uh, no. Why not? I'm not, I'm not fan, into it fan, like you that. You a fan. I think so, baby. Ask TikTok. <laughs> TikTok will tell you differently. We should have a B inspired party for your birthday. No, everything what? black and yellow. We gonna play. <laughs> we gonna play black and yellow in the background. Hey, listen, I ain't gonna lie. Black and yellow are great colors for a party. Yeah, and I'm gonna buy you one of them suits. You with think, the mask? Yeah. No. Oh my gosh, role play. What if? No. <laughs> <laughs> what if I'm a B? No. And you got the suit. Mm mm. And you need my honey. Mm mm. You don't want to extract my honey from me. I'm a no, bee. baby. Out my butt. What? No, a vagina's honey. <sighs> Cause it's sweet. I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> what? Come I on. asked you a question for the third time. What makes a person less attractive? Just in general. Uh, not being attractive, not being passionate about anything. Okay. Yeah. That's a good answer. Yeah, not being passionate about anything. That's a good answer. Yeah, I don't think any of those magic tricks was just funny to read. But if you're into these things and that's like your thing, like, that's cool. You would be attracted to them just because they're into something. Yeah, they're passionate about something. Yeah. Except for video games. Yeah. Yeah, don't be like passionate about cannibalism or no shit like that. But like, you know, <laughs> you know what I, I mean. I really love to eat niggas. You know what I mean. <laughs> I collect vinyls. I like sneakers. I build Lego houses. I do puzzles. The, you know, I I think if you take your time to do something you're passionate about. I, that don't bother me. Why? That's cool. Mm. What is this? I don't want to do that. One. Okay, cool. All right. I'm I don't want to do that one. Um, damn, I had two that I was going to do, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, South Korea is paying people $38,000 to find a husband or a wife. Is it a one-time fee? 38 ain't enough. Is it a, a one-time fee? That ain't enough, fam. It's just in general? In general, man. Uh, Can you get divorced? And do you get it as a team or a per person? Oh, that's a good question. I. That's a good question. A new program offers residents 38,000 to date and marry encouraging t couples to die the so you get to you get to date them. Mm. The ish, the initiative is part of a larger strategy aimed at revert I cannot read today. Aimed at reversing the country's population decline, which has reached a critical stage with the fertility rate failing to just 0. 0.72 children per woman. But what if I marry you and I don't want to have kids? You're right. So I just got the money, huh? Mm-hmm. We just live in lavish. Hey. What if I leave right after I get the money? Then I'll make you like most women. I was, <laughs> I was just talking about to it a was new a country. Joke. It was a joke, I was baby. saying, us like, we go to a new country or something. No. You would want to live somewhere? What? Where would you want to live? No, I'm I'm cool right here for right now, you know. We'll see what happens later. I don't know. But okay. I'm okay. Okay, man. Um, I got 
got a bunch of topics. I don't feel like talking about none of these, though. It's a lot happening right now. Uh, four Fulton County Jail uh, security officers were arrested on charges. Fucking the inmates. Fucking the inmates, man. All women. Wait. Wait. Go down. The charges. What are the charges? Uh, right here. Supplying various forms of contraband, including cell phones and cigarettes to inmates. And apparently I've read also that they were probably fucking them. Yeah, there was a list of charges. Oh, smuggling cell phones, smuggling food and chicken pot pies. <laughs> Wait, why chicken pot pies? <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> and where are you putting the pot pie? I, am, I getting, pussy? am I getting pussy chicken? <laughs> Hey, sprinkle some of that pussy on it when you give it you to me next time. You know inside of the pot pie is a gelatinous liquid. That's pussy <laughs> juice. <laughs> it's a pussy juice. <laughs> Sending ex- <laughs> gelatinous is such a word. <laughs> Sending explicit photos and videos to inmates having sex with the inmates. Because everybody got cell phones now. Why not? Listen, if I was in jail and you was breaking me off some, I would be happy. Yeah, but I would appreciate get fired. You. I've heard stories about people fucking inmates. Yeah, man. So have I. Yeah, we heard the same story. <laughs> <laughs> they be fucking them. I don't get it, though. I'm just... They be, yes, I do. Hey, I fucked at work before. Criminals be fine. You not looking for him to take care of you as a husband. You just trying to get See, some See, that's dick. why you liked me. I was a criminal at the time that you... Actually gave you me wasn't some the kind play. of criminal I would have fucked for being a criminal. Well, what kind of criminal are you giving pussy to? I don't know. They'd have a couple more tattoos. If I'm a fucking so you criminal, gotta you gotta have. If, ta- I, if I'm a fucking criminal, I'm a fucking criminal. I'm a fuck one of them niggas that wear sunglasses inside. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> do one of them. Like so, what kind? So, <laughs> what kind of crimes attract your ass? I don't know. <clears throat> this, you know, petty larceny. Petty larceny? I don't know. You're not even stealing for a lot of it. Well, it's it's like you you like the risk, but you care about your family, so you want to be back in their lives. You know, you going to jail for you know a good time, not a long. <laughs> Baby, the only thing I steal is hearts. Nah, if you see, if you would have said that to me, like, <laughs> <laughs> hell no. What kind of other crime you like? Um, you know, I I like a little bit. Um... <laughs> Let's hear it. Baby, that's I think that's the little that's a little bit. That's the one I want. I just want something possession. I could do possession. Okay. They fuck with marijuana now. I could do possession. Oh, so it has to be marijuana. It couldn't be like no. No, uh, no, no, no. Nah, nah, just possession. Like light possession. Light possession. Is it light possession? I don't know. I don't think that's a charge. <laughs> you just got a little bit. <laughs> Your <Ja, Yana>. Honor. Yeah. <laughs> it was a light possession. Honestly, you had just the right of crime for me. Okay. Because I I really just want somebody that does weekends. That's okay. all I want. Because hey. you you had a you had a real criminal. Why do you have to do that? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> well, oh, maybe he wasn't a criminal then, but he's a criminal now. You just wasn't the first. You weren't the first dude. I I think I'm attracted to dudes that do weekends. You're not the first person that I ever fucked that did weekends. That's bad. I think I like niggas with uh, white drawers. <laughs> That's bad. With white boxes and white t-shirts. <laughs> Just an a, a endless supply of oh, white underwear. Oh, my God. And white t-shirts. Don't take me back there. Oh. Oh, I'm just saying. Baby, I went to jail. You yeah, went I, to jail for three minutes. No, it was a day. But still, you just mad because that crime gone. I was so mad. COVID is a crazy ass. thing. COVID is crazy. Oh, gosh. Um, let's get the things that have nothing to do with sex. Uh, oh. What we was talking about had nothing to do with sex. Most of the things we talked about had nothing to do with sex. Uh, you, you know. All right. Relationships, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. I feel bad. <laughs> I just have a question. <laughs> NASA guess. has decided to that two astronauts who got stuck up in space back in June will not be brought back until February 25th. I mean, February 2025. Oh, my God. We are doing terrible at reading these headlines. Um, I just want to know if they are fucking up there. That's where your mom went to. No, I'm, I think they fine. But I want to know what they... I want to know what they eating to. They, you know what they eat. The freeze-dry stuff? Yeah. You ever had the freeze-dry Skittles? Remember we just had some? Shit's delicious. Um, but, like, are they fucking? That's all I want to know. 
Are the astronauts fucking? Yeah, if all of a sudden, are we each other's type while we up here? We the only people up here. Oh, yeah. Well, listen. Yeah. Are, we, you, you, are they fucking? And, and you can't get mad at me if I came back. I'm like, baby, I was in space and I was fucking. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> I wasn't even in this world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or being up there like, it was other world. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, you, you going to get mad at me if I came back home? Fucking in space? Yeah. Be like, I was traumatized. There was there was nobody that even the time, same time zone, baby. Yeah. Oh my God. It's not the world. The world is just different out yeah, there. Yeah, man. It's, we had. I mean, the, fuck. the universe. Yeah. It was I mean, cold. I mean, you ever get a chance to fuck in the universe? That. Yeah. You right. You gotta. You take have it. to. Like, fuck a mile high club. I'm trying to see what that nut be like yeah. in space. Oh man. Because you know the gravity. Gravity. Oh shit. See, but my dumb ass. You think you float more or you sink a little bit? Like, I ain't going to lie. I'm the type that, like, leaving in. But in space, I'm... Oh, I got to let it out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. And then you got to dodge. Yeah, you got to dodge it. It's going to float around a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder how you clean that up. Oh, man. I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know. No, nah, pray to them. That's not, that's not funny. When they were originally told that they had to be up there for a while, they were fine with it. Yeah, because they told them they'd be back by June. They was like, oh, that's fine. But yeah, that's, that's a long time. You got to miss Christmas, that's a long Thanksgiving. Time. Yeah, that's a long time. You wasn't expecting that. I hope they that. get some money. Oh, you got to get extra They got to get compensated some yeah. kind of crazy way for that because that's insane. Yeah, no, hell yeah. Yeah. Um, Instagram introduces new feature to add music to your profile. Hey. What song are you putting on your profile? Hey. Um, well, on my space, I had get down like that. I told you that from Neo because mm -hmm. I had a nigga that was cheating. I was trying to shoot him messages. Mm -hmm. Um, am I still going to be shooting messages through the thing? Yes, you are. You think so? I know so. I, I am not my so. hair will be the first one that you put up. <laughs> <laughs> I am not my hair. <laughs> no, I think that I would just have whatever I'm, maybe I would try to have new artists or something that I like on my thing. Okay. Or just the vibe of what my daily playlist is, which is all stuff from the early 2000s and the 90s and, you know. Yeah. So I don't know. I ain't going to have no music on mine. Why? I never found that cut. Here you go hating who I am as a person. It, did I say anything? But I never found that kind of stuff fun. Yep. Go ahead. Say it. Go no, ahead. I didn't. I'm not saying anything. Does it make your case? No, nah, I didn't. They don't even know my case, baby. <laughs> just what you just what? What things got you excited? What you mean? Like what things are you like? Yeah, sex. This is. What things had you excited in your childhood? Music. And that's it. Yeah. I'm very singular. Mm -hmm. No, you just find one obsession and that's what your obsession yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. And that's okay. Like I said, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being the bored ass dude. You see? <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's fine. It, it works for you, baby. I don't want you to find fun. <laughs> I, why do you think I don't have fun? No, I don't. I I I ask you. Does music just only sex is the only thing that brings you joy now? The music brings me joy sometimes. Okay, and that's fine. I don't want. I don't want you to experience nothing you don't want to experience. I want what you. What about to, if I've experienced things and I just don't like them? And that's fine too. It's okay. Not, don't feel pressure to like stuff. Nah, you you, you putting pressure on But if that. you don't like it, then you're going to get into a situation you don't like, and then you still not going to like it. You're not going to enjoy yourself, and mm. that's not going to be fun for anybody. So it's okay. Okay. What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know my favorite color? It's red, right? Yes. What? That's a basic color. No, it's a just it's more of a vibrant color than I would expect for somebody of your. What do you think it would be gray? I was I was gonna give you tan. <laughs> I was gonna give you earth tones, <laughs> neutrals. Yo, why do you treat me like this? I'm man? not. I'm just asking questions so I can get to know you. Remember, that's what you did to me. 
trying to get to know you better. <laughs> I I know you. I know you. But it's you know, you know. You want there to be more to me. I get it. Nah. No, it's not that I want any I don't want more of anything. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to feel forced to be something that you're not. Mm -hmm. Because I love you the way that you are. Do you? Ye e yes. Okay. I just like joking you because it is fun. For who? For me. I'm very entertained right now. Fuck you. <sighs> McDonald's is reportedly releasing the chicken big bag soon. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> I knew your fat ass was gonna Man, do that shit. When I saw that, make it i'm pretty sure i can make it i just have to learn how to make big mac sauce but that shit ain't that just ketchup and mayo i don't know is it i think so i could be wrong but i'm i'm all for it i support this i was never a big mac fan everybody loved the big mac you're the person that said you never had a big mac mm -hmm. before right and they made me have one when i was doing radio oh wow we went to a mcdonald's and i said something about never having it and they made me try one and i think i liked it big macs are good as fuck yeah, I think I liked it. I'm pretty sure I liked it. I fuck with the Whopper more though. I'm a so, Whopper. I'm a Whopper bitch. I am. I do understand that um, Whoppers to me do taste better, the but they gotta broil. be fob though. What? Fob fresh with the broil. You gotta actually let them. First know. First of all. You don't talk to me like that. <laughs> what you mean? Don't what, ever fucking talk to me like that again. You, that's what you have to say. I learned that from somebody that worked at Burger King. Man. So why would I ever talk to somebody that worked from Burger King and be like, what's the special code name y'all get for the food? <laughs> no. <laughs> they told us that's what you say when you order it. Well, who the fuck else is going to know that unless they know a Burger King employee? Exactly. Why you can't just get me fresh off the... <laughs> why you can't just be a fresh ass? Why I got to ask for specifics? No, I came here to get a cold-ass Whopper. I'm craving an old-ass Whopper. Nah, leave, take it off the grill, but leave it to the side for a minute. That's the Whopper I want. Nah, man, you got to ask for it, baby. You got to ask crazy. for it. That's crazy. Why? Oh, I got an attitude now. FOB? <laughs> FOB. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Burger King after this. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to be like, You're going to see if it works? I, I want an FOB. Yeah, that, yeah. You think everybody know that? Everybody knows that, I'm sure. You want to go try? This was back in the day, though. So maybe. FOB. Give it to me, FOB. Yeah, just say FOB, yeah. All right. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Oh, you thought this was really funny. <laughs> yeah, man. Brian McKnight. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Brian McKnight ticket sales plummet amid boycott over treatment of his children. Man, it's some bullshit. <laughs> Niggas don't like that. He got a son with cancer. What the fuck they got to do with his throat? Can he not sing you now because his son got a little what, cancer? You know what? No, don't do that. You know what makes it worse? What? Is that he be standing behind that shit. Who? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, exactly. He'd be, like, he be like, nah, because for real, I don't even know them kids. <laughs> I ain't no. never had a family before this family. <laughs> he be... He know that every time he posts something, we see that shit. Oh, shit. When he posted, his new son was Brian McKnight Jr. This is my Jr. only Jr. I ain't never had a Brian McKnight Jr. in my life. He knew what he was doing with that shit. That is the funniest shit anybody has ever like, done. You cannot be surprised. Like They be like, yo, your ticket sales going down. He be like, okay, and I stand by and look at my couple of kids that I got over here. I don't even know these niggas over here. Like, he really be standing behind that shit. Like, George Foreman did it, but he did it out of love. Brian McKnight was like, fuck it. Nah, I'm fuck erasing them kids. this other nigga. Who got, who got black kids? Oh, who shit. Who got fully black kids? Oh, God. All jokes, No, his people. kids are black. Them kids are black. All jokes. The, ba the kids have, the, the other fam, they have nothing to do with it. Those children have nothing to do with it. It's that nigga Brian McKnight. Man, but no, his music is still fucking amazing. His It could be amazing. Yes, and we want to hear it. It could be amazing. Just like R. Kelly's music is amazing. We cannot say it's not amazing. Yeah, like, but that's different. I'm, but I'm saying you can't... I'm, yeah, I'm not saying they have the same crime. I'm not saying... 
And and what he's doing is not a crime. It's literally a personality trait he has. Yo, it's a personal but, choice. <laughs> but it's a personal yeah, choice to saying, say fuck that kid. I'm not kid. saying he's R. Kelly. I'm not saying that. But you can be amazing, have amazing artistry, yes. and still be a fucked up person. So what? I heard another. I can't remember the other story I heard about Brian McKnight, <laughs> and I had to think about it. I was like, "Oh, this nigga always do you okay? Real I will, as shit." I will be the most honest with you ever. Yeah. Before I was a Brian McKnight fan, my uncle, may he rest in peace, yeah. told me about <laughs> Brian McKnight. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, what did he say? That doesn't matter. Why? Because he was, because my uncle wouldn't tell me completely, so I don't know exactly what Brian. So Knight what did, did he tell you? I don't remember. He might really, he might have really enjoyed this moment. <laughs> what I do remember is meeting Brian McKnight. Oh, you met him, and, so that's why you feel like that because you saw him sing in person. Well, being so excited to meet him that you didn't realize he was a piece of shit, and him just letting me the fuck down. As a person, what did he do? But when, no, he he was just very stoic and cocky. I, that's just, the stories that I've heard about him was that he was very cocky, right? And you can be there's a you can be confident, you can be talented, but don't be an asshole to people that are buying. But your you shit. know what though? What when he got on that stage, you, you understood? I didn't give a fuck. I was like, maybe he has to be like this for his music to be so great. No, maybe. So he got to hate his kid. <clears throat> Maybe that's what gets his voice. That's the passion. He clean it up with that hate. <laughs> <laughs> the acid from the hate clears his mm. throat, renews his throat every time. Every time. He what? just think about Brian Knight Jr. He think the about first. All, all of them other kids. <laughs> he cleanses his, his soul of... No, nah, fuck that nigga. I told you, I was looking, he was performing in Detroit or something like that, and mm. the post was on my timeline, and something said, go look at the comments. <laughs> and they were tearing his ass up in the comments, and I looked at that post like two, three days later, and they canceled the concert. That's fucked up. It is fucked up, because a lot of people don't give a fuck about kids, and I understand that. <laughs> Talent will trump kids. Some Every other. time. Yeah, yeah, that will. I get it, but if this is what's happening... That's fucked up. He can't be mad at it because people have their feelings about things. What you mean things. I can't be mad at it just because I don't like them yeah, bastards? Yeah, but people have their feelings about things. They can support things and not support things if they want to. I think it's just, like I said, it's funny because when he could come out and clear up anything, he'd be like, nah, fuck them <laughs> niggas. <laughs> fuck them kids. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I say it again. Well, I feel bad for Brian McKnight. I don't. Why don't you feel bad? Because he knows what he's doing. He does not care. Like even so he's if, supposed even to lie? if his management went to him and said, "Hey, you might want to chill out a little bit on the children." Nah, fuck because that. Because your ticket sales are going down. He will post, "Hey, I just had a new baby." <laughs> <laughs> Brian McKnight Jr. Jr. Yo, he posted first day of school pictures. <laughs> Wait, Brian McKnight the third. <laughs> the third. Because it was no other Brian McKnight, but it was a second and it was a third. <laughs> A junior and the Brian third. Brian McKnight to the first power. Yeah, to the first power. <laughs> Brian McKnight A. <laughs> Brian McKnight A. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's he don't funny. care. I don't feel bad for him at all. He know exactly what he doing. Well, if you don't I like do. your kids, you don't like your kids. That's fine. But now you done brought us into it. Nah, I, I feel bad. I'm sorry, <laughs> Brian McKnight. He cool. He all right. <sighs> he can still sing, like you said. He, You know, he talented. Damn. He always got, what, Jamie Foxx reruns? You know? <laughs> or, no, it was Tia Tamara. You know what's so sister, fucked sister up? Sister Sister reruns? Now, you know what's so fucked up? Because I see y'all going to all these concerts with these trash-ass artists, and y'all will run it up for them. But they like the vibe of it, baby. It's a lot of but people that's not into the vibe of Brian McKnight anymore. It's like, and I'm not saying I'm not that person, because I love Brian McKnight's music. I think he is so talented. Phenomenal. Yeah, but, I mean, if you don't want to support a nigga pockets... You got to find another way to support his new family. I get it. I guess. Uh, Red Lobster is closing 23 more ro ro lo locations. Mm -hmm. Baby, you <laughs> are having a hard time with these titles. <laughs> locations amid bankruptcy struggles. I'm very sad. And in honor of me reading this article, I went and bought the box mix for the Red Lobster <laughs> biscuits <laughs> that they had. 
And mind you, I can make them from scratch, but I felt like I wanted to support them. I felt like my dollar was going to go to keeping my stores open for the company as a whole. No, man. I've had a lot of memories in a Red Lobster. My uncle used to work there for years, and they he was their favorite. And you've met him. He has the potential to be somebody's favorite. He's he's amazing, right? So he used to take me in there when kids were going to McDonald's, and I would get the shrimp cocktail every single day. That's boring as fuck. No, nah, at the time, I was I'd a child. Go to the- <laughs> I was a child. I was eating biscuits and shrimp cocktail, and I was tearing that shit up. I was killing it. I loved See, it. See, that's your fucking problem now. I, Yo. <laughs> I was eating shit like that, and yeah. now I'm, you think I'm bougie? You know how I'm not bougie? Because I'm cooking it. I'm not asking someone to cook it. I'm not saying let's go out to that eat all the time. That don't mean that you I'm are less bougie for my about taste. You. Your taste palette is bougie. I'm cooking for my taste, It's but I'm the one doing it. Okay. R.I.P. to them, but I'm going to make them biscuits. <laughs> they not close every... You, they not... Every store is not well, closed. Well, they closing the one like down the block from us. us. Yeah. You think if I sell the biscuits, if I make them myself and sell them, I still make a killer? Nah, but I was gonna go there though, just to get pick up some biscuits from. You there. know, they also have a good a good salad. I think their dressing is top tier. That that mm-hmm. ranch. That's when I fell in love with French. Really? From Red Lobster. Yes. No, nah, that ranch dressing is good. It's elite. I don't, I don't really fuck with it, but that French. Mm. I can't find French that good nowhere else. I can't find ranch that good nowhere else. It's wow. good. It's top tier. So we gonna go there? We wanna go <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, man. They close it in like two days. <laughs> <laughs> if we go, we gonna get the scraps. Yeah, I, no. They yeah, might make something good for us. Man. No, they not. They not. We can't save them. I thought this would interest you a lot. They don't want to be saved. Day twenty six member Brian says it's disrespectful. That day twenty six is not included in the top five R and B groups. Baby, what's wrong with you? And why the fuck are you talking about them like that? Top five, <laughs> baby. Top five, baby. Why are you doing that? The top of the five. You ever heard "Perfectly Blind"? Here the fuck you oh go. Oh my, that song. <clears throat> and that's why I thought you would like this topic. So you think they top five? Visions of me perfectly blind it's a cool song i think song, don yes. richard helped write that song it's I a think. cool song did yes. she maybe not maybe she did no she wrote the poetry song do you think they are a top five r&b group okay who else is in the in the top with you it's think? your top but i think he mean universally they should definitely out of be, every all the groups yeah, that have ever existed existed they should be and he even say male groups like if he said male I still don't understand. Maybe it, he, maybe he <clears throat> thought. Man, you know what's so funny is in this post to prove that he should be in the top five. They showed the battle they had at the house when they were still <laughs> picking the group. <laughs> they don't even play the songs that they made. <laughs> what you mean? So do you think they're in the top five? What you got for me? I wanna see. I'm trying to think. Of, I'm not saying that they're a I'm bad group. Way. I am not saying that they're a bad group. Oh, I what's like the song that I love that I play all the time? I don't remember um, the name of it. You know the song. Since You've Been Gone. Yeah, yeah. oh my God. Since You've Been Gone is my shit. Yeah. I will play. No, that's a great song. <sighs> that's an amazing song. And they yeah. sang the shit out of that song. Yeah. Um, I don't know because. I could, it's also, I could hear 112 killing that too. No. You don't think 112 could kill it? Hell no. You they could bugging. not sing. Baby. You bugging. Baby. Baby. All right. All no, right. Listen. All right. Listen. You already said no, it. No, but listen. Think about what you're saying. Because now you're just saying <clears> words, <throat> and it's probably the mushrooms. Listen to what I'm saying. You know Mike's voice. You know Robert's voice. The way they the way they run during at the end. Oh my gosh. You gonna tell me since you've been gone that 112 can do what they did to that song? Yes. I think. They Absolutely could. not. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. Don't do that. Are you serious? Absolutely not. There's you, no way. You are shitting on 112 then. There's no, no, I'm not. They could not. They can't. <clears throat> they don't have the capabilities as a, hold on, as, oh. as individual vocalists. Every last one of them could be solo artists. Okay. I'll give you that. So as vocalists, they could not do with that song what they do with that song. Bullshit. I'm not saying that they're like their catalog is not 112's catalog. But so you as think, far as vocal so you, ability, so you think, hell day, no. so you think Day 26 is a better group than no, 112? No, because I feel 
like if we talk about top five R&B groups, we're also talking about... Are, are we talking about vocals, though? Or are we talking about he, success? We are talking about... Song catalog. <clears throat> not included in the top five R&B groups. So I, I think... I think that's catalog. I think that's... I think that's more than just vocal Catalog, ability. Catalog, vocals, yeah, all that, yeah. I think that's more than vocal ability. I agree. So are they in your top five? You still haven't answered that. Who okay, Brian name? wants to know. I, I don't give a fuck. What... <laughs> oh, we... Um, in no order, I have to name them, right? Okay. It, I, it, okay. You have, in no order, I'm naming them. 112. Uh-huh. You can... And women, too. Like... There's too many, because then you want me to... What you want and me they want to be a top want, five. You want me to do, like... <laughs> you want me to do the Supremes? Supremes. Like, what you want me to do? Listen. That's crazy. I don't... Maybe he meant me <clears throat> R&B groups, baby. Maybe he meant that. Okay, still. There's no way that he said, out of all the groups that have ever existed, it's, it's us. So if we're talking about men, we're talking about, like, Joe He said it's disrespectful. Joe to see Jagged Edge... Um, 112. That's three mm -hmm. already. Boys to Men. <laughs> New Edition. Where am I putting them? Well, I don't like how you have Jagged Edge in there. But I know you hate Jagged Edge. I don't hate Jagged Edge. You do. You do hate. We take you know what? Our, I, take we, it we, I take it back. I take it back. We, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even if we put catalog, Black, catalog. Even if we put Black Street in there. Yeah, they don't get in there uh, above Black Street, no. So that's why I'm like, I've already named a couple. You named like seven. Somebody's probably shouting at the thing right now. Fuck temptations. I mean, I was gonna do that. I was just talking about current because that's probably oh, what just current. where okay. their mindset is. Their I mindset mean, currently there aren't any male R and B groups. So But I'm saying their mindset <clears> is probably <throat> like, oh, you mean like in the last twenty years or something like that, mm -hmm. then okay. You well, didn't name Drew Hill. I did name Drew Hill. Oh my God. I'm sorry I didn't yeah, name you Drew Hill. That, that makes me sad that I didn't name Drew Hill. Yeah. All right, so then there's all of those. <laughs> Where do y'all go? There's still so many. There's still so many. <clears throat> they better than Ideal. You think so? Didn't they? No, because isn't Ideal part of Drew Hill? I don't know, but... Isn't Ideal part of Drew Is it Ideal that's part of Drew Hill? I, Drew, you know Drew Hill is superpower. No. That's a super group now. No, wait, I know, but I, I want to say maybe it's Ideal... But maybe it's not. Um, Them niggas not even better than intro. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, are they? I don't know. I can't remember if they. It might not be ideal. Mm. No, 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 no. Whoever. <clears throat> wait, who was part of Drew Hill? Now that's gonna make me mad because they had the the song. It was what? the group that Static Major was in. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, that that makes me that that makes me mad because now I don't know. All I know is that I think top five R and B group conversation. I think he can you know pump the brakes a little bit on that one. But I need you to not talk about them. You said they're not better than I. Somebody that had one song. They had like one or two songs. I didn't say that. Player is with Playa. is with. Um, <clears throat> they better than Player. Well, Player's part of Drew Hill now, so that's kind of no, weird. Well, they're not better than Drew Hill. And they have the same kind of sound as Drew Hill. Who? Player. Yeah, but. You got Shy. You got H-Town. You got. It's so many groups. Silk. 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 They not better than Silk. Silk. I mean, what? Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. I tried. They're not better than Jagged Edge. Shit. But if we're talking about vocal ability, Vo but yeah, that's just one. Yeah, but if we're if thing. you're going off of who Vocally, everyone thinks yes, are the, they can sing yeah. Jagged Edge under the table. If you go after who thinks the top five are, like when what a normal person would say the criteria is, no, not at all. But it's okay. They're I, not I still love them. I think they five. just released an album. Uh, yeah, go I'm get that album. To it. I'm gonna listen to it, y'all, and then I'm gonna come back and tell y'all if I think that they. You know what? I love Day 26. I do too. <clears throat> but they put out a project. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, Day 26 is the group that you tried to be in, by the way. <laughs> I, I didn't know there was Day 26 back then. Throw that then. out there. They won't Day 26 that's, back that's then. That's the making the band. It was, you, un, it was untitled. That's the making the band. It was untitled. For. I just to throw uh, that um, Chinese public toilets now scan your urine for health problems. And I think that is an invasion of privacy. 
Don't do tell they tell me. you right then and there? Yeah, man. Why are you pissing? Does it like announce it? Is it loud? Well, I don't know. I, I don't understand. And what if the screen's still up there when somebody else got to come back and pee and now they can see all your shit? I wonder if when you burn and it turned red. Yeah, like the dude that just walked out had gonorrhea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about if you leave the toilet too fast somebody come That's right what I'm saying. <laughs> and they see your results? Like, gonorrhea. What do they say? You're going to step back a couple of inches more. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> what do you say? That. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's kind of wild. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that is. That I mean, is if you send me cool. my results in the mail or something, maybe I don't know. Bro. Nah, they telling you right there. That's a lot. They telling. You. Can you imagine being at a dinner date, man, and finding out some horrific shit about your health? Yeah, you got chlamydia at dinner. So you keep on STDs. I'm thinking about heart disease or something like that. Yeah, that would fuck me up for the rest of the night. Yeah. I can't finish eating my lobster. That'd after be a that. terrible date. Yeah. I don't like that yeah, at all. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Um, let's go into th what we are watching. Uh, I watched the Love is Blind reunion. It mm -hmm. was kind of blah, if we be honest. Really? It was kind of blah. I didn't like it. It didn't give me enough. Um, like they did Ali and Demi in the beginning, and I didn't really like the way they did it. Um, <clears throat> but I loved Demi anyway. I'm, I'm glad that she's like just she watched it back and kind of just learned things about herself. She was super confident. She looked amazing. Um, who else was there? Uh, oh, man, I, I can't remember the names right now, but like I still think um, Benaya has anger issues, but him and Nicole look happy and they look like they should be together. Um, uh, man, old girl whose mama was kind of unhinged. I think I had things to say about that then, but now her mom has kind of turned a table because her mom was looking at the guy that she was with like, a, um, just know I'm going to be included in everything. Like, all the decisions you make, anything that you say, like, I'm going to be included in everything. This is the mom? Yeah, she was saying that to him. Like, she was real <laughs> overprotective. Oh, like, yeah, no. she was going to be in everything. Um, and it was just kind of, it was some wild shit, but she learned that the dude was a good, he seemed like a good guy, even though I cannot remember his name. Um... And then there was a couple that wasn't together anymore, but I still I just didn't get enough out of it like I wanted to. I wanted it to be like real discussions about shit, and it just felt very flat. Um, I don't think I got enough information out of it like I wanted to. Okay. Um, Tom and Maria, I feel like Tom feels bad for the things that he said about Maria and her family, but she came back with a mission like she hate that nigga. Um, it's a different show. No, it's the same show. Oh, okay. Um, but I love both of them as people. I hope they find the people that they're looking for. I think it was just a lot of misunderstandings on this season. Um, but it was a really good season to watch. Like, the season itself was really good to watch. Um, but, yeah, that was that was pretty much that. I didn't mm. get that much from it like I wanted to. Okay. But um, other than that, I didn't really watch anything. I haven't had time to watch anything. Yeah, I watched a couple of things. Uh, I watched the... Final season of the Umbrella Academy. Mm -hmm. Um, so I hear a lot of people that were not happy with, with it at all. With it, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I wasn't mad mm -hmm. at how they ended it. Yeah, most people said they didn't like it. I was not mad for two reasons. One, because I enjoyed I enjoyed the final season. Um, it was short, mm -hmm. but I don't like long things anyway. So maybe that just plays to you know the things that I like. Mm -hmm. um, but also, it was like, how do you want this to end? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not going to give a spoiler on how it ended, but at the end of it, it was like a finality. You know what I'm saying? It was it it, it was it was over. And yeah. I think a lot of shows don't do that often. Yeah. You know, they just leave things on, well, maybe it'll come back. Nah, this shit ain't coming back. You know what I mean? Um, it did leave you without hope. And I think sometimes, you, most times, shows try to give you some type of hope of something. Um, and it didn't leave you with that. But I, I think I enjoy, I think I liked it. I think I liked it. And I know that is, I'm in the minority, but fuck it. Yeah. Uh, we watched the Maxwell Tiny Desk. Oh, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed how much respect he was getting and how much, how happy he seemed mm -hmm. to just be like, he, it was like, he wasn't even Maxwell. Like, I can't believe y'all are excited 
I can't believe y'all know the words. Like, yeah. I thought it was good. It was enjoyable. Definitely. I thought he strained a little bit, but I I wasn't watching it for like I just I enjoyed watching it. And we yeah. also were looking at it like, God, he got so many goddamn hits. Yeah, man. He he didn't sing the song. He didn't sing my favorite song. A couple of the songs that everybody was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, but other than that, it was it was good. It was good, man. It was it was Tiny Desk. Like <laughs> Tiny Desk be be popping. Um also I watched Untold, the Steve McNair. I could have went without it. I heard it was. Meh. Yeah, I could have went without it, man. I, I don't know if it was because of the the time that they gave it. They only gave it like a you know, like an hour, but I just it just wasn't that good, and I didn't learn anything new per se. And the one thing that it seemed like they was hinting around, they didn't go further into it, so mm -hmm. it was like, eh. Well, fuck it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they could have went without this, yeah. man. Um, that That's what it is. Yeah, they didn't have a new episode of Claim to Fame or nothing like that. So Yeah, so we didn't get to watch that. Um, we got a couple of topics to cover on uh, Patreon, so we got to get that cracking very soon. Um, any last things you want to say before we get out of here? Uh, no, everybody, go get your tickets. Get the tickets for... Uh, Portland and Vegas. I know those are on sale now. I'm not sure if the Oklahoma ones they are, are on sale. They are? Yep. Okay, get all of the tickets are on sale now. So mm -hmm. make sure you get them super soon. Um, Definitely on the website and yeah. on the link tree. Yeah, follow all of the social medias and do all of the things. Um, that's it. We got to go get our boys. I think you got to go. Okay, I'm going to yeah. go get the boys. <laughs> um, but no, that's it. All right, That's man. It. Well, this has been an interesting episode. Has it? Yeah. You can't go do anything, huh? I'm good, man. Okay. Well. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, and then we had sex and so should you. Thanks for listening. Bye.